Good evening. Hi, Connor. How are you doing? You tantalize me with the promise of kettle corn, and yet you never deliver. And honestly, I think that this should be illegal. And at the very least, I should hate you for it. But I'm going to be the bigger man here. I'm going to be the bigger man. I'm going to not hate you despite... Goodbye, kitty. There was a cat on my lap. As soon as I started talking, she just hates the stream. What can I say? The second the stream goes on, she goes away. Goodbye, kitty. Um, hi, Coro. Yeah, I'm going to be the bigger man, Connor. I'm going to forgive you for not giving me a kettle corn. I'm going to say that we're, we're still friends. Mm -mm. I've been dead, but when am I going to be red? This is kind of a good question. I think, I mean... Arthur is kind of red. He's kind of orange, really. I don't know. His skin is very... I think it's supposed to be the dirt, or maybe it's just the low graphic settings, but he looks very Trumpian. He looks pretty orange, which is close to red. Close enough, at least, I think. Um, I need to do the thing where I set my game to full screen, because it's the start of the day. Where's the redemption, then? Uh, that costs 10,000 channel points, Connor. Or 5,000 if you're just trying to redeem an emote. Sorry. When am I going to be two? Well, there's at least two of me. You know, you think that one person could stream almost every single day for like a year and a half? Nah, there's two of me. We we, uh, we alternate in and out. Hi, Juan. Brungi Wungi. I don't think that's going to stick, I'll be honest. I think it's unlikely you or anyone else is going to be referring to me as Brungi Wungi in the near future. But you know, I appreciate the innovation. You gotta throw out some you gotta throw out some misses in order to land a hit, you know? What's up, Juan? How are you doing? Oi loading screens. Yesterday in the game we progress we're still in the south. We're in this fictional state of Lemoyne. We are attempting to play two feuding uh Plan big landed aristocratic southern plantation families against each other, and we have uh, God. Don't don't just don't just like what? This is a stagnant pond, Arthur. What the hell? Arthur was just spooning stagnant muddy pond water into his mouth. He's gonna go die of dysentery now. What a fucking idiot. Anyway. Uh, we're, we got to play these southern families against each other, and we're hoping that there's some gold at the end of it. I think it's far-fetched, but we got to do what Dutch says, and Dutch says to do it, so that is what we're stuck with. If you use 10k, you can make me make me make some Turkish delight. If it's too difficult, I don't think it's right for cooking with Brungo. I think cooking with Brungo is more for like simple, funny meme suggestions than anything else. Okay, oops. That's not the button I wanted to press. It looks like the only uh, story quest we have available is Micah. And I don't think any of my side quests were all that interesting to me. Um, yeah, so fuck it. Let's, uh, let's go over here. Let's go do the Micah quest. Up. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. Arthur is underweight, yeah. is one thing to consider. I wonder if I should start stuffing Arthur's face with food just to make him gain weight, you know what I mean? Is there a gun here? What is this symbol on this on this map? What is this? Just drop Oh no, it's just a revolver. Interesting. I don't know what happened here. Some lady here got owned. Letter to Annette from Claude. I guess here's the backstory of why she's dead. Who is this person? Letter to Annette from Claude. I uh, did not want to write this letter. I thought it had been clear at the stable and clear again. When you waved for me outside the general, Harriet was still inside. She could have seen you. It's a miracle she did not. I made a promise to you, and I know the time was good, but Harriet is my wife. And she's willing to give me another chance. I need to give her and myself that opportunity. I cannot know you any longer. Please stop looking for me in town. Please stop leaving me packages at the post office. Please, for the love of God, do not approach Harriet. I do not care about you. Uh, I do care about you, but I cannot have you in my life anymore. Leave me and my family alone. Weird. I guess he was uh, cheating on his wife with some lady, and then uh, she found, and that he tried to break it off, and she got mad, and some shit went down. Hey, oh, that's a 
That is a shame. Wait, is her revolver better than my revolver? Hey, Smeebit. Hey, Ballsick. How are you guys doing? Yeehaw, Brungaroo. Brungaroo. Okay, Juan just called me Brungi Wungi. I think I slightly prefer Brungaroo. Is a cattleman... Is a cattleman revolver... Oh, I already have a cattleman revolver. It's the same thing. Okay, never mind. Is weapons in poor condition? Fuck, then give me my other one back. Oh, whatever. I am boing. Boing, you think? Um, well, if you say so. I could be worse things than boing, right? <laughs> I, I would think. How is, uh, did you end up getting your sushi ball stick? Did that come together? You could make it worse, don't tempt you. Oh, I'm tempting you. I am tempting you. Everyone should strive to come up with the worst possible fucking nickname for me of all time. Mr. Saturn. God, this jump scares me every time. I don't know what the deal with it is. Mr. Saturn does go boing, doesn't he? I do vaguely remember that. You'd be proud of me. I almost just got run over by that train. I was not paying any attention. Binogaloo. Binogaloo? That sounds like the, that sounds like a wooden puppet who can't lie, but also streams on Twitch. Um, Bwungi? Oh, little Bwungi Wonky is playing Wed Dead Redemption. Oh. Is that what you want me to say, Bossy? Hi, it's me. I'm coming in. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Hated that? It was your fault. You did play yourself. Brong Merp. Now that I don't th I think that's a pile of nothing, Connor. I don't think Brung Merp has much to it. Okay. Um Micah, who is the douchebag of the uh, of the gang. Actually, that's not fair to say, because we're all kind of douchey. Micah is the uh, psychopath of the gang, is probably the better way of describing him. Can I? Hold on. I want to I wanna actually tie my horse up so that horse... Horse? Why can't I... Hitch horse. There we go. I missed the hitbox before. If it's hitched, then the horse will eat food while I'm away from it, and they won't have to feed it. Bimbo. Ah... I don't know if you can call me Bimbo. Bimbo already means something. <clears throat> it comes with a certain connotation if you call me Bimbo. Mm, canned salmon. Mm. Saturday with Brungo? Why are you acting so surprised, bud? Okay, so I took three Saturdays off in a row. Uh, coincidentally. That doesn't mean that it's a regular event for me to have something going on on a Saturday, okay? Those were all freak accidents. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, man, Brunga. where's Dutch? Well, however it goes... Mm. I'm not sure all that You're so discouraged by Subnautica right now? You don't know if you want to go back to it? Uh, I mean... I think that's a bit of a shame, I don't know. Well, it's not the end of the world to lose your cyclops. I lost my cyclops. Digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch. What's up? You tell him, fat man. Oh, God. It's Don't call me that. Dutch. The Adriscals. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. Mm -hmm. a couple of the Adriscal boys. Peace, you say? I don't think Dutch is going to like the idea of peace with the Adriscals. You know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay mm -hmm. and things like gentlemen. 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 Old Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Mm. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Mm. I think it's interesting that Mike is the one protecting us. It's is advocating for this. A lot of them, if it ain't a trap, Micah doesn't seem to be like much chance. of a peace trader, uh, peacemaker for me. Any of this. It's a chance. We've gotta take. Uh, maybe Micah just wants out of the feud I for his own sake. Brother. Or maybe I'll he's a, a snake in us. Maybe he's a double agent. I don't know. 
idea of running around for more resources sounds so draining. Mm-hmm. Well, you don't gotta go remake the Cyclops right oh, away. I love deer. When I lo- when I lost my Cyclops, I just dicked around mm-hmm. with my prawn suit until like I passively gathered enough resources that, and I, I felt up to gathering the rest to remake That's the Cyclops. A long you know. Time ago. Gotcha. It's got cowboy psychosis. Micah does? I don't know. Maybe. Worst possible place for viewers to move Brungo. Um, you well, and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Okay, Connor. Since you're... Oh God, this is, this is annoying because I have to tab out in order to move the camera. Since you did not specify where the worst place for viewers is, I assume that means that I am free to interpret it as I wish, and I arbitrarily decide, eh, let's say the worst place for viewers is over here because I'm as far away from chat as possible. And, uh, you know, obviously the viewers want Brungo to be close. If you wanted somewhere else, Ghani, you probably should have been more specific in the redemption. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that's the rules. Um, okay, now I, have to, now I have to make it back. Oh, you know, Saturdays are when I'm free from the basement for a day. I must love living in my lair that much. First of all, I don't live in the basement, Juan, okay? I'm on the first floor. Second of all, what else am I going to do on a Saturday? You know? Assuming I have nothing else going on, which I normally don't. No! Ah! I hit no. I'm sad. Connor got monkey bod? Mo- yes, it's true. Connor needed to... Well, he got genie wished. I guess it's like kind of the, I, kind of the same thing. No, it's like it, literally the same thing. You know what? I, would, I, did, I retract my correction. I'm willing to play by, you know what I assume your intention is. Um, oops, this is not the button I wanted to press. If I, if I agree with it, you know, like if, you, if, if I think you're trying to get uh, the camera into a place that's actually good, then I'll, I'll, I'll help with your imprecise wording. But if I think you're trying to get the camera into a place that's bad, I will not be cooperative unless you're very specific. It's a fair point. It'll probably take for a bit. You're liking Ghost Trip right now. Yeah, that's totally fair. It seems like a fun little game. Oops. Why can I not get on my horse? Hello? Okay, I figured it out. Monkey Paw implied some ironic negative outcome for the Wisher. Is this specifically the irony? A Genie Wish is more just like uh, taking advantage of a loophole in order to actually hurt the person who, like, the person's imprecise language who was doing the wish, right? Genie wishes don't necessarily have to be negative, just whatever the genie feels like doing. You know, right, so I, I, I would feel more like I granted a genie now. wish then. I but twisted the imprecise the language of his request in order to serve my own now. needs. No Which to go. me, sounds now more genie-like than Monkey Paw. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Uh, maybe you're right. <laughs> just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I agree. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. Mm. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Yes. Because of Blackwater and Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then who knows? The genie is blue. The genie is also blue. Come to a head. Hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts? And when will I see your redeem? Oh shit! What the fuck? You got sorry. You got owned. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm sorry. My my bad one. You are you are completely correct. I got carried away. Okay. This goes over here. And that means that I have to make it full screen again because this is an incredible game that you can't tab out of. It's a, you know, triple A triple A video game that people spent, you know, 6 years working on or whatever and kind of want to keep doing this. Well, you can't because the redeem is limited to one per person per stream. Trust me, I thought of that. I thought of someone using 10,000 channel points to fuck with me moving the camera over and over again. It's not possible. Why am I blue, Smeebit? I don't know, you can't just ask someone why they're blue. Oh my god, Smeebit, you can't just ask someone why they're white. With you to cover us, Okay, just keep calm, unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted mm. friend, with you watching over me, 
I would walk into hell itself. Yeah, yeah, As Dutch. I... Yeah, I, it means even less coming from you, Micah. Goddamn. Hey, can I cook things in this game? I can. I can cook things. It's true. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close you want to see Arthur eat a prairie dog? I haven't seen any prairie dogs yet. I've pretty much all I've eaten are rabbits, and I guess deer. This is a hidden rule because you can still activate it. Wait, what? Can you? I. It should be set so that you only you can only redeem it once per day per person. I'm pretty sure I have it set up so it won't work. Uh, <laughs> fucking Micah. My problem is I care too much. Yeah, seriously, Arthur. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. Uh huh. The promise of this great nation, man created equal. Yeah, yeah. And justice for all. That might be nonsense too. Okay, that's not really what we're talking about, though, Dutch. But sure. It is worth believing. God, he's so melodramatic, so over the top. What about Prairie Oyster? I haven't seen any b uh, buffalo in the game yet either. I, we might head into buffalo country at some point. I don't know. All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. Mm -hmm. We'll be meeting down on the plain. Find a spot just above us where you can keep. Cowboys need love too. I think cowboys need love more than the rest of us, but. However, this shakes out. Let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be uh, there, partner. I think cowboys are among the uh, the most touch-starved of all uh, occupations. Is that fair to say? Why is my fucking stamina so low? Hold on, I need to eat. I need to eat some chow. Some chow, chow. Moderately restores, uh, slightly restores health, health, stand, ooh, uh, chocolate bar. I'm eating a stock, chocolate bar. There we go. Assume the buffalo and the Native Americans will unlock in the end game. Yeah. Um, I mean, apparently there's five states that this game takes place in, and we have only been in three. We've only visited three so far, so. There's, there is a good chunk yet to explore. That's the plot of Brokeback Mountain. That cowboys are the most touch-starved of all of us. Yeah. Why did the game make me go off my horse? I don't think I was actually supposed to leave my horse. This could be a problem. Okay, whatever. Oh god, there's a dead... Uh, what the fuck is it? What is that? A, a rabbit? I don't know. Oh man, Schumann, a whole year of bread and of tier three bread too. It's not that cheap a wonder bread you get at you know get at the supermarket. This is artisan bread. My God, thank you, thank you so much, Schumann. That means a lot. I hope you're doing well on our wonderful one year anniversary. <laughs> Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> Sure. I stream on Saturdays so, uh, now. I only it? took three Saturdays off. It was all a coincidence, Better okay? Work. I coincidentally yeah. had three different How's engagements in a row, which Let's almost start. never happens. I almost never have engagements. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> yes, yeah, several people have been bullying me oh, for the that. for streaming on like Saturday. I said, this is a charismatic leader. Okay. A lot of heat on us this time. Mm -hmm. Both of us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch. Mm -hmm. Bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am. I'm so engaged? Good. No, About sorry, Connor. I have been. I have had engagements. I liked him much. I liked Annabelle. Mm hmm. I always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. I like that you like ladies. <laughs> what are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? I don't believe it. 
Oh, way to go. You fell for it, you idiots. Oh, God. Oh, oh, it hurts. Oh, ow. I don't know. Colin's got a sense. Handing him over to the lords. I don't know. Strange. Handing him over. Oh, okay. Thank you, Seamus. With this belt, I'm they took uh, they took the deal to hand us over to the law, which is why they're not killing us yet. Uh, no, don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Nope, don't do that. Don't do that. Bad idea. Arthur's like built like a bear. He is. This is why I grew out the beard. Oh, uh, did I lose? Oh no, no, no! He's got a fucking. He has no brain inside of that thick skull of his with which to be killed. Oh my god, are we getting... Oh, never mind. Oh no. Okay, so we were set up. I wonder if Micah was in on it, or if Micah and Bill were legitimately duped. I feel like not. I feel like Micah was in on it. Who will save us now? I get maybe we'll save ourselves, you know? I don't know if we've made any friends. Not particularly. Oh. They're gonna feed us. What do we get? Arthur Morgan. Some some oysters. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. Cole? Oh god. I'm upside down. How's Jesus Christ. Do they shave me? I feel like my beard isn't as long as it was before. Why you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. About money, I kind of look like an oyster. What Arthur does, or I look like an oyster, like in real life. Oh, I, I remember doing that. And I thought Dutch preached truth. Me? Explain how I look like an oyster. What similarities between me and an oyster are there? The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had him. <laughs> <laughs> Both blinding white insides. Is my whiteness blinding? I mean, maybe a little bit. I've been paler in my life than I am now. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. Uh huh. The whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. Hmm. Arthur, I you. Oh. Ow. 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 It hurts. Okay. So we're bait to get the rest of the gang, and particularly Dutch, arrested. Got it. Blue Oyster Cult is an American rock band. I have heard of this. I, I have heard of these things. Fuck, you need those kidney kidneys? You do not need my kidneys, Balsic. You have your own. Okay. You can swing on your shackles to reach the metal file. This can be used to pick your lock. Man, okay, here's my tip. If you are ever holding someone prisoner, um, and they're hanging upside down, and they're integral to your plans in order to defeat your longtime rival gang, do not leave a metal file within reaching distance of <laughs> of your prisoner. Just an idea. God, it's so easy to undo that. Brungo streaming on a Saturday? Yes, I'm streaming on a Saturday. Oh, heat? Oh god, I'm heating the file. What does this do? Are we gonna stab someone with it? Oh, we're oh, we're cauterizing our wound, of course. What? That's not how you cauterize a wound. Oh wait, what are you what am I doing? Ugh. Am I taking out am I taking out a bullet or something? I don't even ugh. 
What did I just do? Why did I do that? Uh, oh, I was... Wait, what? Oh, no, now I'm cauterizing the wound. Okay. Have I ever died? In, in the video game or in real life? Okay, here we go. Removed a pimple. This is what it feels like to... Uh, yeah, when you shave over a pimple. I have to spam A to cauterize a wound. Oh, come on. At least I think I do. Come on, come on. There we go. I don't want to go to Mexico. Stealth kill on the Adriscoll. Yeah. Jesus Christ. How on earth is Arthur possibly in a condition to be doing this kind of shit? This is absurd. Okay. I've got three throwing knives. It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. Uh, I want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. Leave the area on a horse, got it? Morgan's out. Oh god, I missed! Okay, not ideal. I missed my I missed my knife. We could have done better than that. Revolver cartridges. Health cure! Snake oil. Fully restores health. This is probably a good idea. And it did nothing because I... Right, health cure... Health is different from... Uh, oh wait, my guns. My guns are over there. Uh oh. Probably all the beans, yes. I'm being fueled by farts. But what the hell? Yeah, hold on. Pick up my re wait. Pick up revolver. Loot, loot. He isn't a bear. He's a full-blooded redneck. Fuck yeah, raw. What do you think bears aren't full-blooded red rednecks? God, can you pick up the revolver, please? There you go. Pick up revolver. No. I'm pressing the button that says pick up. Oh no. Okay. Okay. I'm understanding. There we go. I got it. Okay. I want. I want this gun. Recover Arthur's weapons. Okay, that seems important. Huge. I should have taken that hat too. God damn, okay. Driscoll's are patrolling the roads around the cabin, evades them, and escape the area. Got it. What about food? I need my peaches. Actually, I need uh, my baked beans. I need to eat more beans because they are my lifeblood, as, as has been established. Also the bread. Bread and beans. Enemy hears a gunshot or sees a body that will search the area for me. Hey, Ironhawk. How are you doing? Nobody else was around? Well, they are patrolling this whole area. Oh. Someone shot at me. Okay. They suck. We did it. That was pretty easy to escape those guys, I gotta say. Cat sitting very comfortably around the fire with his friends. What's up, Volgare? How are you doing? Come on, girl. Get me home. Nice to see you. And an excellent Joel, Ironhawk. I saw your pre-stream Joel. I appreciated it. Should have killed all of them? I am not a vindictive man, Smeavit. You think Arthur Morgan would just kill a bunch of people just because they t knocked him out, tied him up, or is going to use him to as bait to draw out everyone he cares about, beat him, tortured him, and was going to turn him over to the law? No way. I have a warm light there. Yeah, the sun is setting kind of right through. I have, I have like a glass door, sort of, and so the sun is getting in my face. 
Semi-vertical Joel, thank you. Yes, Joel too. It's very powerful. Arthur was moaning. He loved it. Not all moans are of pleasure, but one day you'll understand that. Arthur. 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 Yeah, I told you it was a setup to that. My boy. My, My boy. My boy, what? They got me. Uh, I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw. That was like a light sand. Oh, no, no, no. I Well, actually, I do have a warm light on my ceiling. It's true. It's like yellow. Or, that's also on. Apologies. Swanson. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now. Was my reaction to your previous statement? What? Which one? He is, oh, that he isn't a bear. He's a full-blooded redneck. I said that. What's not full-blooded redneck about bears? Can bears not be redneck? I consider a bear to be a pretty redneck animal. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. My room must get hot. My room does get hot, but not because of the sun. It's because it's uh, a little enclosed space, and right outside my window is the radiator from like the AC system. So it's constantly blowing out hot air when the AC is on. Right outside my window. Bears are liberals? You think so? <laughs> a few weeks later. Oh, wow. What do, you, what, do, what do you think is liberal about bears? Hey, Waka. Brungus, hey, Brungus. How's the stream going? Sorry you're late, but Lamau. No I problem, Waka. It's okay. i you, Mr. Morgan. Steam told me you were playing well, Hades. Not quite yet, River. Good. That's cool. I hope you're having fun. Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear Steam's that. a rat. Steam is a rat. It's true. Well, take care of yourself. A little you birdie too. taught me that told me that you were playing eighties. <laughs> Birdies don't lie around these parts. I have an actual system. Wait, uh, for AC? I mean, yeah, I have AC in the house. My beard won't grow any longer unless you use hair tonic. Each use of hair tonic allows your beard to grow a little bit longer. Oh. I don't know if I want to be quite this long. I also think I want to cut my hair a bit. Well, actually, I don't know. I kind of like the hairy, grizzled Arthur. That's why they're gay. Bears are gay because they're liberal. <laughs> not, not, not the other way. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a weird mechanic. Yeah, I'm not totally sure what, why it's in the game. <laughs> Does that model real life? That in real life your hair only grows out to a certain point until you start treating it with products? I guess. It seems like a weird thing to I'll be realistic about. Bill, Micah, and Sean are meeting the Greys over at the saloon about a job. We're just, we're still on about this Greys and Braithright nonsense even after all the bullshit that just went down. I feel like we should just leave. Charles takes Arthur hunting for bison. Ooh, bison. We could get some oysters if we wanted to. Go bald or get Gandalf hair. I'm going for the Gandalf hair. Make his hair longer. Uh, I don't know. Well, actually, may, do I have any hair tonic? I'll see if I have any air hair tonic with me. Moonshine, health care, health care. I actually have no idea how to check. Uh, inventory. Uh, provisions tonics? Does anyone see any... Uh, any help, any hair, hair tonic, hair cure? I don't see anything in there. I think we don't have any. Morning, Sorry to say. Okay, I don't particularly want to go hunting. Um, and I don't think there's any other side quests in here that interest me or whatever. So I guess we'll just head into town and see what's going on with the greys. We're going to continue our quest to destroy the backbone of the southern aristocracy. And maybe we'll pick up some hair tonic if we find it. Get those luscious flowing locks that I know you all love. Oh, hold on. Need some ammo. Hello, 
Hello. Oh, you're not talking to me. Sorry. <laughs> you. You know. Excuse me, Dutch. I'm meeting you over on the uh, quest location. Uh, no, I don't know anything. I'm leaving. I'm leaving this conversation to fast travel. You're in Pibe, Fukik. Oh, that's a shame, Connor. I uh, I hope you get out of Pibe soon. So why you watch the stream? Arthur's luscious flowing locks. Yeah, well, that's a good reason to. I think. Is this skippable at all? Ooh. Oh, my luscious flowing locks. Uh, I don't know how... Their lusciousness and flowingness is dependent on the day, I think. And the angle. What's up, folks? What's the deal here? Short walk in a pretty you, town. Well, I'm sorry, Why do I get the feeling we're going to be sh Let's shooting up this town again? What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. Whenever they refer to them as the Greys, I think about like the Roswell Greys, you know, like aliens. the horses for them. Why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them and their paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill. Sure. Okay. Why are you asking Bill? Isn't Bill kind of an idiot? I feel like we've established that already. Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some. Become a juggalo. Aren't we already kind of? Or the 19th century equivalent? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braith ones. Mm-hmm. I do remember that. Oh, I just walked straight through horseshit. Oh, I got horseshit on my shoes. Oh, I, and you walked straight through it again, Arthur. I was trying to move him off, but the game is auto-pathing me through the horseshit. I can't move it. Great. Holy shit! Wait, who was that? Wait, was that? Oh my god! Wait, who? Who just? Was that? Was that Sean? Did they just kill Sean? Sean! Oh my god! Sean! Ex yeah, the, the, that was the Irish guy, exactly. That was a member of our gang. Oh, Arthur's mad. Oh. Okay. Are there different difficulties? Uh, I'm not actually sure, Volgare. Oh god. Cowards are in the gun store. Enter the back of the gun store. It's auto pass so I get a snack later? Yeah, I'm kicking this door down. Whoa! There we go. Good. Uh. Uh. I don't know. What do you mean I'm getting sloppy? You're the one who led us into a trap that killed Sean. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just one difficulty, as far as I can tell. I don't remember choosing a difficulty when I started the game. <laughs> I love how they're still just having their fucking, like, car dialogue while they're being actively shot at. Like, they're just carrying on this conversation, yelling at each other. Sheriff Gray. Ooh, I can rob the uh, weapon store now that we've destroyed the town. Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this town! It's going to hell! 
That's what being a man is. Oh, what? Oh, finding hair cream? You think I should try to find hair cream somewhere in here? I guess I could look for it. Being a man is continuing to have a conversation even you're actively shooting at a bunch of people and being shot at. I feel like it's an odd and very specific definition of manhood, like most people would not qualify. You know? I've never done that. Have you ever done that? There's a lot of dead bodies here. Jesus. Micah is just like yelling at the sheriff in the office, in the, in the, not even uh, going in. Ooh, a platinum pocket watch. Oh, they're coming out. Oh, good for you. Oh, Bill. <laughs> Bill, why did you have to get caught? Oh, we're going to do the draw. Quick, quick draw, quick draw. Okay. We did it. Hooray. They make everyone scream so the player can hear from a distance. Yeah, I mean, you know, people were very loud in the 19th century. They didn't learn to be quiet until recently. Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. Go easy on him. <laughs> Sean, Sean is just fucking Hosea. dead by their All feet. It's like, yeah, go easy on him. Things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? Mm. All you ever done was complain. Complain? You fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. Maka? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> Damn. I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Arthur's gonna ride off into the distance, say, man, fuck this whole gang. Why doesn't Arthur just ride out west by himself at this point? He could probably do better. Most of these people in the gang seem to just weigh him down. Seems like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. Oh. Poor Sean. What a goddamn mess we're making of things. I get the feeling we're not going to get out of the state with any, uh, you know, Confederate gold. <laughs> I think that I think that dream is a little bit dead. Just a thought. Well, we can't go back here now. It seems he's a little bit hot. Um. Okay. Let's talk to Dutch, I guess. My girl. Yeah. Jump! Jump! I feel like riding your horse directly through the woods like this is just never a good idea. I'm pretty sure it just straight up doesn't even work. But you know, Arthur can manage it. Oh, 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 oh. Never mind. Nope, nope. Ah. Uh, okay. Especially with the fog. We made it. Okay. Hitch. Hitch. Dutch, you have a lot of explaining to do. Oh, there is a whole meeting going on over here. You heard horses can easily roll their ankles in terrain like that? Yeah, I think that's true. I think they can fuck themselves up just in general by riding hard in like any kind of non, uh, you know, non-flat surface, a surface that's not made for horses to ride on. They're pretty fragile animals, all things considered. Oh, all right, gang. Have you seen that boy, Jack? Oh God, Jack Where's is missing my too. Damn son! Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took. My son! Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh, I can't what? Saw a couple of fellows How did... Sound like Braithwaite, boys. Where How did she son? even... If anything, 
How did they even get to Jack? Where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one head. Temerity. On head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch! We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, oh shit. Aaron, anyone strange okay. Turns the whole gang is mobilizing. Rest of you, let's ride. Oh god, it just suddenly transitioned to nighttime very quickly. Congrats on the parody change, Honor. Oh wow. Four of the children. Look at us all riding out like this. This is the largest that the gang has been mobilized, I think, the whole game. We're a small army, we really are. Your redeem move camera an hour ago? I know, Connor, I moved it, and then I, ha I did a whole thing telling you about how I'm moving it. And then uh, Juan moved it back. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back. And Probably the same trap they attempted before, except they got an easier hostage. Well, this time it's the Braith Raids. But yeah, I mean, the Braith Raids probably also realize that uh, we've been trying to play both sides, and they're also trying to get their revenge on us, but it's kind of separate. I think basically all the different groups that we've been playing turned on us at the same time, and things are kind of falling apart. Howdy, gentlemen. How are you doing? Oh. Won't somebody please think of the children? Oh, we're thinking of the children. We're thinking of this singular child who we keep with us in our outlaw gang of violent criminals. Which never seemed like a good idea in the first place to me, but so be it. Where do the children live in this game? We have one child in our gang. He lives in camp with us. Um, he, his name is Jack. I went fishing with him. Yeah, I haven't been following who's who, just been watching me ride and kill people. That's fair. Most of the game is riding around killing people, but they do. But the characters do the talking, and that's and that's the important bit. The shield. You think the kid is a shield? Well, it seems to have backfired since the kid is now the hostage that we're all risking our lives to protect. How many schools have I seen? Uh, none, actually. I actually haven't noticed one. You die now. Goodbye. Goodbye, Connor. Have a nice time at the fair. Eat some kettle corn or whatever. Isn't this the place I sold the horses from? Uh, I think I sold the horses from the other one. No, wait. No, yes. This is the one we sold the horses from. The other one is the one we burned their tobacco fields. Let's get this done, John. You sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Yeah, I kind of think so. They might be able to. Doesn't mean the bad guys won't use the kid as a bullet sponge. Yeah. And we're the bad guys, you're saying? It's true. I need you to stay. I'm not in formation. I'm not in the line. I'm ruining the shot by not... Here, let me, let me get in formation. Okay, here we go. Here we go, I'm moving to the right a little bit. Okay, now we're in formation. Let's go. Now we're impressive. Damn. Hey, Dronin. Bad is so relative. In this game especially, everybody's kind of a bad guy. We're slightly less bad guys than some people. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Anyone that uses a child as a shield should be considered bad? Well, they don't use a child as... The shield, he's the kid of one of our that gang members, you know. But that is not the way you do things. Hand him over. I would say they're the one using him as a shield in this case. Uh, are we supposed to be shooting people? No, okay. I don't think so. What if the child was a drug lord? True, the child might have deserved. What is happening? Gonna be civilized about Am I supposed to start shooting? Oh, oh! Okay, I was supposed to be s starting to shoot. I... I fucked up. Whatever. That's okay. Doesn't matter. Let's go. 
good. You're all right? Good to hear, gentlemen. I'm glad. I hope you're enjoying your Saturday. Aye, aye, Captain. Watch out here for any other arrivals. Get in there. Find Jack. Are we gonna get to burn this manor to the ground? That'd be nice. Jack, you in here? Yo, Jack. Jack. Oh, I, I want to loot this place. Are there cloud drawers in my area? Cloud drawer. I don't think I know what that is. Whoa. What is a cloud drawer? Oh, sorry. They need my help with something. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. These guys suck. We didn't take a single casualty for raiding their entire manor and murdering their family. Oh, ow. Oh, God. God damn it. Hold on. Eh. Eh. Oh, what? I don't know how that... I guess I don't know how that works. <laughs> it's a tall building that draws on the clouds. Uh... You mean like a skyscraper? Like, just a. If you mean a skyscraper, we don't really have any in my city. We have some de. Nah, not really. Downtown, we have some decently tall buildings, but no skyscrapers. Cloud drawer is a really cool word for that. To be fair, skyscraper is also kind of a cool word. I feel like, as native speakers and usage of the term. You don't appreciate it as much. But it's kind of a cool word. One of English's cooler words. Where? Where are they? Oh my god. Up there with bone and longevity? You think bone is a cool word? You know what word I like? One of my favorite words? Twilight. I think twilight's a cool word. Moist. Moist is an infamous word. Calm? Calm is a, tom, calm is a pretty top tier word. You know? Oh, okay, let me let me help this guy out. Don't worry, John. Beautiful. And by beautiful, I mean barbaric and gory and awful. But we've done it! We've murdered, we've depopulated yet another town. Where's the boy? Well, we have lived in this house for 120 years. Uh -huh. And I had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest Congrats, of Congrats, I'm a monster. No, 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 we're saving a boy. We're doing it to save a kid, Balsig. That makes us the good guys. Shoot her foot. Shoot her foot. The boy. You filth. Shoot the foot. Get her out of here. What about them? <laughs> <laughs> well, that answers that question. Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? <laughs> Any more sons to murder? God, they. This is pretty. Uh, listen to her screams. That's some. Um, that's some pretty authentically terrified acting. I like that. It's a literal Finnish translation, word of skyscraper. That's 
That's a cool thing to call him, I think. It's a cool thing to call uh, skyscrapers. Why'd they take the boy? We stole their horses. And so they stole our kid. And so we raided their house to try to get the kid back. Such is the feuds of the South. I never liked you. <laughs> you never liked me. Oh, uh, we did steal their liquor, too. <laughs> you took my moonshine, so I took your kid. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. Hmm. We're leaving her. I guess we don't have it in us to kill an old lady who, after we're already destroyed her life. Oh, she's probably going to burn herself anyway. Okay. We're that they're more concerned about their business and all the people I killed, and not all the people I killed when I was escaping. Yeah, well, I mean, she's you know the head of the family. Work she's out, there to, work out. Listen to Dutch. balance her finances and this, make money, and she probably right. only really cares about her immediate relatives. Right now, brother, you're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she she'll kill us all. I know, but. Looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. Is he? It took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. Mm. You're right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. Eh? We killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. Wondering if there's any skyscrapers out of one room on the top floor. Now we get that boy I think there's some really, really like rich CEOs that have hey, places Dad, like that. Like, a problem. not a problem. Single Visitors. room. Oh. A solution. Oh. Hold on, cops. People. We got cops Abandoned on our premises. How did they find us? Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> huh. huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware. Damn, this, Agent Moron, this wow. Is a civilized land now. We what a zinger. All them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity hmm. and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing. It's civilized. True. It's man. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. That's and what you were saying, Sweetie. That lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer. You said what now? Oh, were you talking about how she was more concerned with her business than the people that they killed? That's pretty much what Dutch was saying. And I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? Ain't that fine? <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it would be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I feel like we could just kill these guys right here. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. Hmm. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. 
And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. God damn. This guy's such a dick. What now? You don't get poetry? Oh, no. well, that's okay. It's a very poetic game, this, you know, in between all the blowing people's heads off and big old horses shitting in front of you. Swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Mm -hmm. This is well hidden. They pulled a boy? Yes. There's a lot of people boying in the South here, and it makes me uncomfortable every time they say it. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Okay, so we're moving into that old Confederate ma mansion that we uh, cleared out a couple of quests ago. Damn, we gotta pack up again? I just upgraded this site. Come on, girl. Follow me. I know the way. I know the way to San Jose, as it were. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack Everyone's on the same height level. What you mean, like in my city? My city is pretty flat. Like. Most, it's Smart mostly problem. one or two story Smart? buildings. Yeah. We made too much noise once again. We drew them right to us. I agree. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Oh, you know, a couple Far dozen. Oh, you meant in game? Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess everyone's around the same height. Master con men working their magic. Well, the little kid, the little kid that we're trying to save. He's really short, but he's not with us anymore. He got kidnapped. I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Prungo doxing himself. Yes. Short Town, USA. I definitely don't talk about living in Sacramento like every other stream. Can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. Good. We'll get through. Yeah. Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. I'm kind of on John's side here. Every plan gets where Dutch's stuff. leadership does not particularly seem inspired to me. Be careful on this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. Is it true we don't have basements? I have a basement. I don't know about everybody else's building. We have a basement over here. Who said we don't have basements? We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, mm. Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Your has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. Mm -hmm. If we were ever who we thought we was. Who exactly did you think you were? Don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. <laughs> I like how Arthur's like continued response to all of like these questions is just saying, "Oh, don't think about it. Don't worry about it. Don't question any of the choices that we made. Just keep going." You ain't seen inside it yet. You've made too you many waffles. Oh, no, no, in. You want to share? You want to share with the whole class? You don't know? You heard the West doesn't build basements. Sure this I know. The building I lived in as a sure kid had a basement. All right. And Let's the building I live in now has a basement. A my apartment in college didn't, but I don't know. Do like normal... Oh, why did I take off my horse? Do like... I don't think normal like... You all right, girl? A, Apartment complexes have basements, right? I don't know. You're in the West and you have a basement? Yeah. It's a good problem to have too many waffles. I agree. I mean, I, I, I'm on the record for not being an incredible waffle lover. What? What? Oh my god. I don't even have a gun. But, uh... 
Still some here. I can see well, that's okay. What a bolt action rifle. I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Hmm. Doesn't the Alamo have a basement? Does it? Well, it was like a fort, right? I actually know very little about the Alamo. Might need to get uh, make some late night waffles. Oh yeah. I assume is it possible you can't make waffles without a waffle maker, right? Is it possible? Like, is it possible to like I don't know somehow craft a waffle without a specific device that shapes it in that way? How are you gonna kill Krill? With your bofa? Uh, who are you? Who is this? Like you? Not really. Hmm. The bounty hunters. How do they make waffles before? The carpet baggers. Before waffle makers were invented. The army of criminals who stole our land and our government. Hmm. Who is this guy? I survived them all. This is some old guy who lives up here. Our fight will live on. Oh right, this is the Confederate. Oh right, that's the Confederate holdout, which is what this building was originally was. Huh. Well, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, that's a shame. Maybe you uh, shouldn't have been a terrible person. I don't know. Frozen waffles. Oh! Yeah, I don't think... Frozen waffles is not totally what I'm asking. It's just, you know, there's some dishes that, or there's some, like, foods that have become so synonymous with, like, more convenient ways of making them. That I feel like I don't even know how they were made before the convenient like tools. You know what I mean? So I don't know if waffles were one of those things that that were possible to make before waffle makers, or not. Come help me with this, will you? Didn't even have to shoot the last one. God. No. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Oh, I okay. Walking into this. Uh, uh huh. I should have looted it first. Are you gonna help me carry these in? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got one. I got one. It was always waffle irons. They used to have non-electric ones, right? Oh, a non-electric waffle iron. So how does that work? You just like hold it over the stove until it heats up, and then you like pour your thing, or or does it, it just goes on the stove? Dump the body in the swamp around the jetty. This is a real southern adventure, isn't it? Pretty much. Interesting. Someone invented a press first, and then someone thought to make a depression in the metal. Right. Waffles have been around since the 14th century, but in name only. The waffle iron was patented in the mid-18th century. Well today. So, like, were the waffles before... They, like, starting in the 14th century, did they still have their shape? Do they still look like waffles, or were they just something else that kind of looks like that? Just call it a waffle. Um, dumping bodies in the bay. I think the shape came with the iron. I see. So I wonder what a pre-waffle-shaped waffle even was then, because isn't that basically a pancake? I mean, what's what's really what's the defining feature of a waffle if not its shape? What is this? Oh, it's upstairs. I see. Look at the way he runs upstairs. What the hell? Hello, sir. Oh, I am here to. Oh, I should have looted him. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay. I don't. I only get to drop him. You assume because people like the crispy parts more, so the iron was made to give more crispy parts. Right. I always, I still think that's crazy. I still think pancakes are the superior waffle. I'll stand by that. Wrong take. Well, thank you for respecting my opinion. This comes up once a month. Is that a crocodile eating the body? Did I just see a croc in the water, or am I tripping? I've been doing too much Zebak. 
It does come up one f once a month, but that's just because, you know, people like waffles, and I feel the need to shit on anything that people like that I personally disagree with. You know me. I'm obnoxious. Welcome home. Waffle iron probably makes cakes easier to make over fire, because you can just throw it on the fire directly and flip it with ease. Yeah, that's true. It's I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you mm. too kindly work your magic? Have you had to try chicken and waffles? You don't know, chicken doesn't feel like a breakfast food to you? I've never, I never tried chicken and waffles drowned in before, um, before going vegetarian. And I never really understood the dish, because I've always seen it as, like, chicken uh, like sticks, like drumsticks over pancakes is what I see the dish as, you know? And I'm like, I don't even, I don't get how you combine the waffle with the chicken. It seems like two separate things, one just stuck on top of the other, you know what I mean? It doesn't seem like a very coherent dish to me. Hold on, I'm gonna get this waypoint off my map because it's annoying. It's so good. I mean... It might taste good. I'm just saying it seems like a weird dish. I don't know how you would eat it. How do you eat chicken and waffles? According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Saltiness of the chicken pairs with the sweetness of the syrup. I know. Pouring maple syrup over meat just seems kind of weird to me. We're going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to see working as long as it's not bone in fried chicken. That's what comes to mind when I think of chicken waffles. I don't know if I have an incorrect uh, understanding of what the dish is. But I thought it's like a bone in drumstick, you know what I mean? On top of waffles. I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We did move out fast. For a few days here. And then. I think we need to move a little further. Yes. Put some ocean between us and all of this. Ocean? The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. Oh, really? For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the west for us. Uh-oh. Is he giving up on that? Don't know anymore. Ooh. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. Oh my god. I'm still thinking We're leaving the country? Dutch has given up about the dream of moving west? In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Hmm. Corn dog covered in syrup? Give it a try. I could imagine that's good. Corn dog is definitely that kind of like trashy, deep fried stuff that would just love to be drizzled in syrup. A real city. A city. The future. Oh god. That looks like the future to me. J. Fast Cannon Company. Big cities. They're always repellent. When you were little, your family took a trip to France. One day you were served waffles, and there was a huge I'll punch bowl of a strawberry ice we'll slush to spread on them. Yes. Huh. That sounds kind of nice, actually. I could dig that. Yo, are we starting a new chapter? So we are. Chapter 4, St. Dennis. I guess this is uh, that one city, what's it called? You know, the only city in Louisiana. St. Denis. Oh, my bad. You're correct, of course. Hello. New horses are available to purchase in the Scarlet Meadows St. St. Denis stables. Oh, God. Oh, God, okay. This is a big, big city down here. Gee, excuse me. New Orleans is the word that I'm looking for, by the way. It took me a while to get there. That or just, you know, I don't know. Any other city like this, I suppose. You've been told cardamom on French toast is good, but you haven't tested that. You could, I would believe anything on anything is good until I tried it, I guess. If people told me with a straight enough face. Um, I guess that's the point of the cooking with Brunko Redeem. Gavin's your best friend. He left me. I lost him. Are you I mean, slow? I lost Am I? Excuse me? Who's talking over here? Someone must have seen an Englishman. Hello? Who needs help over here? You? Who's the dude? 
One of these guys is supposed to be a side quest. I can I couldn't tell. Um, interesting. Look at this lovely city they've got here. Boom. Who said, are you slow? That sounded so modern. Uh, I don't know. Is that a modern phrase? Are you slow? I feel like that's almost old timey, isn't it? Asking someone if they're slow as an insult to their intelligence. I think that's a fairly old expression, right? Maybe I'm wrong. What am I looking for here? Uh, Dutch needs you to ask around in public places for information on Angelo Bronte. Yeah. Okay. Hello, I'm here to ask in public places for Angelo Bronte. More suffragettes. Okay. Um, you, Mr. Officer. Hello. Hello, officer. Do you no? No? Okay. No. No. Hello, sir. Suffragettes, no. 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 Let me vote. I don't think. I don't think I can just let it happen if you ask me. You know. I don't know if I have control over that. Uh. Who am I supposed to be talking to in here? Somebody. I'm supposed to be asking somebody. About. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. My thing got smaller. Here, apparently. Oh! Cowboy. cowboy? I don't even have my hat. Oh. It's just Dutch. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. Mm. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? Papists, I've been eh? About Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. Oh, you I'm great me? at keeping it cool. I'll meet you back here, Anon. Anon? What, are we on 4chan now? Okay. Head over to the bar. Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I Mr. Bartender. Mr. State of Le Mans for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's, Hello? that's why we love it. I am oh, here for some information on some lady who I, I don't understand. I actually don't know why who she is, but maybe I missed something. Or maybe I haven't figured it out yet. Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. This bartender will not let me tell you something. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I I seem to have some very impatient customers. Sorry, I am a little bit impatient. How can I help? Oh, I. Like a whiskey man. I guess I need to order whiskey. I thought I was getting information from you, but. Dollar, please. A dollar. Whiskey. Oh, that's the real stuff. I'm a scholar. What? A dollar? Wait, that is insane, isn't it? A dollar for a shot of whiskey? Can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. I'm asking. No, Inflation is insane. It, it, it's just these Look, big shot city before. prices, you know. You and your pal that was in here before. No. Okay, well that wasn't very successful. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Correct. He's the big Italian spaghetti eating little <laughs> piss bitch. <laughs> Mr. Italian spaghetti eating. So squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? No, I have no idea what you're babbling about. Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Uh huh. Okay, start talking to people oh, in the friend, alley. You'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Uh huh. What a weird, sad little man. I hope I never interact with you again for the rest of my life. Okay, let's go into the alleyway. Uh, this alleyway? No. Well, this is a nice little courtyard in the back here. Very pretty. 
Can I go up? Can I Assassin's Creed and like get on the roofs and shit? Swarthy? I did see the word swarthy in there. <laughs> yes. Not not ideal. Twitch doesn't seem to recognize that as a bad word. Well, in and of itself, it's not a bad word. It's just like a description, right? It's just kind of an old-timey description. But as an insult, it is certainly not good. Hmm. Was I supposed to be in there? Oh, maybe I was supposed to go in that alley. Or that was the alley I was supposed to be in. Hey! Oh, there we go. Highly contextual. That's what I would think. Like, you can use it in, like, a neutral, non-offensive sense, potentially. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Italian. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him, but it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Really? You're not gonna haggle down the kid from five dollars, Arthur? Come on. You come and clean. Dude, this city is bleeding me dry. First two dollars for whiskey, then five dollars for this little brat. New to the city, Mister? Mister? Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Oh God! Is that right? Is that right? I Hope kind you of. Don't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. Feller. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Uh huh. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's uh -huh. the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, Mister. Is it really? Oh, the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, Mister? No. No. <laughs> Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful <laughs> testament to God's love? What a strange twist they of conversation for these kids to decide from, to talk Mr. about. Look at them I feel. Oh. Hey, hey. Shoot him. Oh, I want to shoot that kid. Oh! You give that back. Do I have my gun? I want to kill that kid. He took my fucking money. Oh. Get on. Get on, Arthur. That's all my money. Where's my horse? I'm going to shoot the shit out of this kid. Not going to let me kill him? No, he doesn't show up as a red dot on my... Uh, on my thingamajig. So I don't think I'm gonna get to kill him. What's that word? Cuticle. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh, I got him. Oh, did this guy catch him for me? Oh, thank you, man. Where's this kid? Examine. Oh, there's a cigarette card up here. Hello. Not that I will uh, be collecting these at all. Where is it? Oop, 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 oop. Trelawney's? Wait, as in like our Trelawney? Oh, oh. You better stop right now. I want to murder this child. Wait, what? Where did he go? Oh, he went down the street. I thought he jumped on that cart. Uh, okay, I'm just going to kick his sound. <laughs> pigs? What does that mean? What does that mean, pigs to feed? The goats have gotten loose. You're a goat. Oh my god, he just old manned me. 
Holy shit. Go. Why do. Stop! Arthur! Okay, mark it. Hey, watch it! Arthur is so out of breath. I feel so bad for this guy. This guy is like absolutely broken. Just not weeks ago, he got like captured and tortured by a rival gang. And now he has to run through an entire seat. Oh my god. And now he slipped on a banana. How embarrassing. The life of Arthur is nothing but injustices and suffering. And humiliation. I hope he gets a moment's peace at some point. Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was uh -huh. gonna show me before he robbed me. Ow. <laughs> Come on. Slap, slap. You got a snack? What snack did you get, Waka? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but... Egg? Never like a hard-boiled egg? That's a good snack. Friends. I like that snack. I should make you some eggs. Like no hard-boiled eggs. Mr. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. Why has he got a bunch of, like, he little twerps? Men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing 50 about men? You mean 50 me. boys? <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about them all over town. Keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. Mm. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite. Yeehaw, the partner. Hey, yo. How are you doing, Freddy? Good now, to see you. Get out of here. Enjoying your weekend? Been playing any epic games of late? Okay, well, I got my money back. Okay, it seems like Mr. Bronte does not want to deal with us, but I feel like Dutch is not going to accept that as an answer. Kindness? What are you looking for? What kind of kindness are you looking for, dude? Are you? No? What? Is it? what? You. You. Here, 25 cents. You can steal money from the beggar out of his hat. It's been a good week. Ooh. Awesome. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. Special snake nice oil. Give something instead of just. <laughs> uh, thank you for your snake oil, man. I've never. I have asked many people how their days going, how their weeks going. No one ever says it's been a good week. It touches my heart. It really does. Oh, he just told me to go to his house? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I thought he told me to fuck off. <laughs> Time flies. Man, where, am I, where am I going? You can't quite just walk straight towards the waypoint in the middle of the city since there's now like streets and walls and buildings. I'm chilling, no crazy games, just a big chill zone schniceness. That's pretty schnice indeed. Is schniceness like related to schmovement? Is it in the same category of noun? <laughs> Ooh, hello. What are you doing here, Dodge? You're just hanging out on a bench while I'm busting my ass off running around town? Bunch of children. I won't inquire. Anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Mm -hmm. Apparently he lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Ah, good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Mm-hmm. Should I smooth Schmungo? Thank you. I've been, uh, you know, practicing very shard on my movement. I cannot decide which I like less. Children or Italians? Or oh, sorry. Swamps or the city? Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from 
Real open country. <laughs> Arthur does not like being here at all. Dutch keeps taking him further and further from playing as a cowboy in the Wild West, which is all he wanted to be doing in this game. Interesting. Um, a stranger. Someone here I can meet. Dutch and John plan to meet you in the park opposite Mr. Bronte's house. I see. Yes, he did plan that. Um, I guess for now... Oh, I'll go talk to the stranger on the way over to uh, meeting that quest. See if that side quest is anything interesting. Where's my horse? Where do I get my horse? Linguistics? I'm a huge fan of linguistics. I should have studied linguistics. Ah, no I shouldn't have because that would involve actually learning a language. I think linguistics are cool, but learning a language is hard. You know what I mean? But at some point, you kind of have to actually learn something. Oh, hello. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Mon ami? Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. Who is this guy? It's two dollars a glass. Oh my god. god. So yes. fucking expensive to drink in this city. Thank you. Santé. Santé. <laughs> Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> me what personally? Do do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. How French of you. very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights. And I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Hmm. Asshole. Felt to you like a that third too. act? That too. What, you mean mm. well, moving yes, here in general to this, knows. uh... Where to the city. We're almost at the end oh, of first of five world. paragraphs of Thank plot. You, Let's you fucking go. Yeah, the game's long. I know that. No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, if anybody but, here is okay. allergic to French Not people, I apologize. You might want to mute the stream for a while. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Yeah, I'm sorry, mm, Caro. I, I know you have troubles with the French. Old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Mm. You know, uh, Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Ah, art is lies. True. B hashtag believe women. That is truth. Breasts is truth. <laughs> It's very deep. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. Charles. One is better. Thought he just said <laughs> peanut butter in his mouth. <sighs> <sighs> so Imagine I, what it must uh, sound like if a French new, person has peanut butter in their mouth. Here. It's like double French. What is it? French uh, squared. It's just a little doodle. Ooh, I like that doodle. Entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. <laughs> no matter. Begrudgingly respect the French because they're really good artists and animators. It's true. This this guy would go on to create Wakfu a uh, hundred years later. Well, I am. Wait, should we in, should we inspect this sketch? This sketch might be really important for the story. So uh, let me let me go let me go inspect it to see if we get any clues here. Here we go. Um, don't say anything this way. Maybe if I zoom in a little bit, maybe there will be some detail in here that we didn't quite see. Uh, maybe on the back side. Oh no, maybe it's more on the front again. Uh, no, I don't think there's anything here. Pointy booba. The triangle booba, the best kind of booba. Pointy boob is very boob. Wakfu Waka's brand of kung fu. Wakfu is a French cartoon. But I that I doubt Waka has ever seen. Although I can't say that for so I left my horse behind. I should probably have my horse with me. It feels less important to be carrying my taking my horse around places in the city. Ugh, I keep I keep opening the wrong menu. Uh, sweet corn.
You're not a French weeb. True. You're a 100% ground beef, red, white, and blue, homegrown American weeb. Or, well, Koreaboo, sorry, not Weeaboo. Weeaboo. Yes, Schumann is the Weeaboo in here. Oh, an is this an another stranger? Another French person I get to meet? Well, how could I refuse meeting two French people in one day? Oh, wait. Excuse me, sir. You're not Can French. I you for a minute of your time? Uh, sure. All right. What are you? Can I tell you a little about what we're Are you another here? suffragette? Sure. Less than a minute. I Every single woman in this game is a suffragette. Uh, like, that's we're their whole thing. Oh, never mind. Build an expansion to the Quincy Harris you are not. Memorial Hall. A shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Mm -hmm. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. Uh, why the fuck not? I have $1,400 and no idea what to use it for. Here. $20 Give me my light side points. Sure. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged. I can loot the lockbox. When the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Twenty dollars is a lot of twenty dollars. As the saying goes, twenty dollars is twenty dollars. I do not disagree. Okay, or uh, Dutch. You're always just sitting around, Dutch, every time I find you in the city. You got that in your last fortune cookie? Your fortune cookie said $20 is $20? That's a little bit suspicious. That is an imposter Chinese restaurant you went to. Especially to help Confederate veterans? Wait, were they Confederate veterans? I just heard veterans. I didn't even think. You're probably right. Oh, I, wanted, I should loot the box instead. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. No one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just... Really I get the feeling someone's gonna get shot. Trust me. Dutch, every time you or anyone else in this game says nobody is going to get shot, I end up killing two dozen people. I guess. I feel like you should just stop saying that at this point. My horse even fast-traveled directly to the exit. Which, uh, does not bode well. Oh? We'll get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Okay. <laughs> Run along now, boy. Uh, Was that uh, a special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. I get the feeling Dutch does not have this. I haven't seen Dutch have this once in the game so far. The entire game, he has perpetually not had this, and yet we still all implicitly trust him to have it. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Hi, guys. Look at these Italians. Was there a significant Italian presence in New Orleans? I didn't even know. Or is there? They what? <laughs> Did they do the jingle? The freaking... Godfather drink? Okay. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Okay. Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. Mm -mm. Dangerous thing to say. He, he assured me so, no one's going to be shot. You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this. And you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? Well, I mean, give us a bath you and we can do that. You to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? <laughs> Indeed you have. Now, 
We are simple country folk. <laughs> All we have is each other. Simple country folk. And you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent oh. by state. Are these the guys they were selling the liquor to? We were okay. innocent of, well, we, or going we to? most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Yeah, it kind of does, it's true. Theodore. <laughs> that is a very still woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> okay, I guess that's all it takes. Arthur Morgan. <laughs> Consistently in this game, if you want these like outlaws to accept you, just be like a total douchebag asshole to them and tell them that you're going to shoot them to their face. And they'll be like, oh, okay, have a drink. Can my friend have his son? <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> but. But. Anyway. Should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that. Huh? Ar Arthur's oh, like, oh, oh, great, I'm going to have to shoot this. some people after all. You perform a simple job for me, mm -hmm. and you get your son back. What is it? Go down to the pizzeria down the street and they pick me up a pepperoni. Fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men. Of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mister Vanderlind. You tell me more about my manners. <laughs> hey, cousin. How are you doing? Salute. Salute. How's the game ring? Pretty good. How was... Did you go to that Neil Young concert? Did that happen? How was that? It still feels off? Uh, I think he just found out that we were kind of useful. That we probably have more use than the bo holding the boy is worth. Grave it's on Thursday? Okay. You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? Are you excited for that? Getting giddy? Oh yeah. Are you taking Neil to his namesake? You should put him in a little cat carrier. I'm sure he would absolutely love that. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. True. John didn't say anything. One word that comes out of that bastard's mouth. We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All mm -hmm. things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. This is true. Yeah. No one has been shot yet. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure. Wish the little guy would come. Do you play like Neil Young to him? Must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. Does he recognize the sound of his godfather? He knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. True. I just hope you're right. Hold on. There's a place to hitch my horse over here. I wonder if my horses still eat when they're hitched, even if I'm in a city where there's no like grass for them to eat. Foot from here, Arthur. Oh. Neil doesn't recognize Neil. This way. Shame. A damn shame. Tiny little cat brain can't recognize true music. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. All I'll right. Try this way. I guess I'll try this way then. Keep it down. Keep it down, eh? It's gonna be hard to keep it down when I uh, shoot them in the face. I hear dog. This is a moody little cemetery here. This is where the ghosts of New Orleans are gonna come out and haunt me. I'm feeling some zombies popping up. Hmm. 
So, uh, Seely Dan, tribute band in your neighbor's yard, big chillin' all day. That sounds super chill. I'm happy for you. I was doing some raiding on RuneScape. Where's this dog who keeps barking? Uh, oh, here's dog. 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 Uh, praise. Hey there, boy. Praise the dog. Someone's here somewhere. Come on. Any purples? So no. So oh no. Definitely not. <laughs> Our chance is way too low for that. That's a good turtle. Uh, it's a weird looking turtle. It seems to have lost its scales and grown some hair, and it's making more noise than a turtle normally makes. Oh, what the hell? What just happened, John? You get spooked by a gravestone? What? Okay, I'll lead. You watch behind me. Search the cemetery. I'm searching. Did I hear something? Am I supposed to use my Witcher sense? Oh, maybe. Hold on. We got something. We got. Oh, hello. Sorry. Yes. I had a bit to drink. Your friend died. Oh. Oh, this is not a grave robber. This is just some poor dude. Oh. hear us, you know. They're still with us. Yeah, sorry about that, man. You should get yourself home. Okay, let's go get the actual dude. It's a huge fucking cemetery. It's like a fourth the size of the city. <laughs> Actually, wait. How big is it literally on the map? Okay, the cemetery is like this big. The whole city is like that big. It's probably like a tenth of the area of the city is just a cemetery. His friends listening. God bless. That guy's friends. That guy's spirit will see us over this mission safe. Make sure we won't, we won't die. Oh, we've been set up. What is this fucking? What is this music? This ain't worth it. Oh, you should have paid Mr. Bronte. God damn it. Careful, they're leading us out in the open. Where is where's this dude? Where's this dude? Fuck, I can't see shit. Where am I going? Italian music, you think? It looks like. I don't know. This is not probably not what I normally associate with Italian music. The the little uh, like Godfather that jingle that played when I talked to Bronte reminded me more of a. Uh... Ah. Hold on. Of Italian music. Where are these guys? Here. Get, get back over here. Get, get, get back over here. I want to, I want to shoot you. <laughs> there we go. That'll do it. Castlevania music. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh. Want to know why the cemetery is so big? It's a lot of plot. Water table so low that they can't bury the bodies underground. Does that require more area? If you can't, if you have to do above ground burial. I would think that if I would think that you could have higher layers like cemetery if you're building above ground, you know what I mean? Oh, that guy had 20 bucks on him and some hair pomade. Is that what makes my hair grow? I'm oh, sorry. This guy had 20 bucks on him. But they all have 20 bucks on them. I'm taking the mu the loot that they're robbing off of the uh, dead people. Huge. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Sure. Robin Grave Like a cemetery parking garage kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Like you know, you have to you have to put in like a ticket. You have to like buy a ticket at the entrance in order to have your body buried on a certain level. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Is it in here? 
Oh, here we go. It's for Stylin BLJ. I still think Arthur should be able to BLJ. Except that his line, instead of going like, or whatever, like Mario goes, it would be him starting to say his like famous line, Shaw. It'd be like Shaw, 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 and then he would go whizzing off at 200 miles an hour. Oh, let's dodge. Why don't we avoid the uh, the police? Whoa! God damn it. No! Wanted for murder? I'm stopping grave robbers. You should be thanking me. Please. Stop. Too many whistles. Police Navidad. Nice. I make like a scarecrow? What does that mean? What does it mean to make like a scarecrow? Quick, horse. Get me out of here, horse. 30 bucks? For what? What'd I do? Castlevania intensifies. Is this game good? Uh, many people would think so. I would say so. Oh no, there's a dude over here. What? How? What What did you trip over? Get back on the horse. Horse! Horse! Oh, Scarecrow freeze with your hands up. Well, the Scarecrows don't really have their hands up, right? They more like kind of T-pose than have their hands up, per se, I would think. Too many laws. Too many police officers in the city. I can't believe my horse shrugged that off and like, loved! Another, no, another cop. It's another cop. No! Oh my god, dude. I had just escaped. That's unfair. What? Stop! Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking John tripped me over. Get me up. Get me out of here. Scarecrows are just a mob God hasn't animated yet. Really? So by creating a scarecrow, farmers are playing God. They're playing with powers that they should not and do not deserve. When did I switch to Bloodborne? Was Red Dead not interesting enough for me? But this is an excellent question. Red Dead was great, but the second I heard that Bloodborne finally got ported to PC after like 20 years, I just had to drop everything I was doing and play it right away. I'm just racking up my bounty by running away. How do I, how am I supposed to actually escape? Where am I going? <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing here? I guess I'm supposed to get out. I just have literally no idea how to get away from the cops. The entire city's crawling with them. I think I need to actually just leave the whole city. Bob will update Earth to version 3.4 and Scarecrows will become inanimate. Oh no. Or will become animate. I think that would be terrifying, personally. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of Earth updating to become a horror game. Kill some pigs? I have killed plenty of law officers. But the problem is that uh, killing them would not help me actually escape in this case. Which is why I'm not, not going for it. Uh, too many cops. Pags. <laughs> Pogs, champs. Please don't see me. No, they saw me! I'm dumb. If a train comes, why are they on the train tracks? You're killing my horse! That's it. You can shoot at me, but you shoot my horse and then I get mad. Come on. You can do it, horsey. Okay, you can do it, horse. You can do it, come on. Yeah, I know, I know, horse, I know, it's, I know, it sucks. Just, just try a little, there we go. You did it, good job, horse.
How are you doing, by the way, bud? I hope we finally, uh, I hope you appreciate the switch to Bloodborne content. Oh my god. I hope your Saturday was well. Horse is stuck on this wheel. Worst cop ever. All the cops kind of suck. I mean, all the enemies in this game suck. You know, they are pretty easy to kill in general. Why does this Skyrim mod make my horse worse? I think it's just like a given in uh, any game where you have a horse that the riding the horse is the worst piece of shit imaginable. We did it! Come on, quick! Let's get back to Dutch. Yeah, hold on. I need to feed my horse. It's lucky I ain't a religious man. Lucky I ain't a religious man. You alright? We have escaped. Let's not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your hair. Act normal. Your eyes have sunscreen in them, you think Overwatch. Oh, I am so sorry, but didn't didn't this happen to you yesterday? It's tragic. At least maybe I hope you at least got some good footage out of it today. Something fun. Mediocre is a genre of music that's just kind of unremarkable, yeah? Did you ever play bass for any Mediocre bands, would you say, Schumann? Or did you uh, try to avoid that genre? So many, really so many of your bands were Mediocre. I mean, that's understandable. I would say a majority of all music. Did you fall in the water? John fell off the... John fell in the water. God damn it, John. What? Yeah, John just fell off into the water, just like I did. Even even the AI can't control the horses in this game. It's kind of funny. This is yesterday's sunscreen that you thought you wiped off. You fucking showered. Oh my god. You must have really put in a ton of fucking sunscreen. <laughs> Holy shite. I gotta pay off my $50 bounty next chance I get. The cool thing is that I robbed like $80 worth off the people here, so even if I ran away from the law, I only got a $50 bounty to pay off. Still net positive. Alright, let's get this done. Let's get it done. Did you just like drown yourself in sunscreen then, bud? Or what exactly happened? Also, hold on. Give me approximately 45 seconds. Start counting. I'm grabbing water. Be right back. That was 45 seconds, right? <clears throat> Today the smoke is back, all the way from Alberta and Saskatchewan. God damn. Uh, have you asked Ballstick for a formal apology yet? 51. You weren't counting, Juan. You, you pre-typed 51 the second I left, I swear. Oh, hey. We got him. We got Jack back. Let's get going. You were actually? Oh, well, never mind. I'm sorry I doubted you. Meanie, I'm sorry. But don't you think I've... I have been driven to be slightly skeptical of some of the statements made in this chat? Oh, really? A garden party? Just simple country boys. Oh, we did it. Huge. I'm sorry to hear about your smokiness, though, Balsic. I am we have a new camp set up, Jack. very, very happy that there is no smoke this season for us, at least not yet. Right. My time's on point most of the time. I mean, my kitchen is like five steps away from where I'm currently sitting, so it shouldn't take me very long to get water and come back. I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. 
I had a fun time. <laughs> Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? Oh god! What's that? They they gave the kids spaghetti! It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Oh god. Absolutely yeah. terrible fate. Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that. Papa Bronte? Cavallo? That means horse. And Fantafola? Oh my god, this kid was a prisoner for like five days and he's already got Stockholm Syndrome. Well, I'm just glad you're alright. <laughs> I guess they treated him better than we do. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Or can you mail this ash back? No refunds on shipped goods. Balsig, I think that uh, Alberta's got a terrible policy on a refund policy. It's just standard to be able to refund the, you know, environmental destruction that you're rot rotting on other people. What is the- reeking. Reeking. That's the word. At least he got treated like a prince. Yeah? Or at least from his perspective. He didn't even understand that anything wrong uh, was going wrong. And yeah, he got treated better by Angelo than he did John or just the camp in general. It turns out, you know, being the life of a rugged outlaw gang is not exactly very good for a kid. Especially one who likes toys and books. You don't make the rules, you just enforce them? Uh, yes. Hiding behind regulation. Uh, let's talk you to Dutch. Had a nice night, then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. Mm hmm. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? We were getting shot at, man. Being treated like a prince by a mafia Have boss a is different. True. I mean, Have a girl. it's obviously Have just because it was like a temporary situation. And the long time it would have sucked for Jack once he realized that you know he was being he was a prisoner. <laughs> but he was too young and he wasn't stuck there long enough to really run into any problems. I think. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. <laughs> the kid's also really dopey. Look at his face. I got my son back. Jack, Jack. I don't know how old that's. How, how old is that kid supposed to be? Like five? Everything's okay now. He's so articulate. Can I go play now? But he's also yeah. so small. So, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is a. Uh, Four years old. Okay, that makes sense. Although, like I said, he's he's got some words on him. Not outside of a circus. Let me tell you all about him. You got the sun. Uh, the sunscreen you got is sort of dry, so I think it clings you. Thank you. Oh no. Yeah, I don't know how to get rid of that. Soap. Interesting work. Uh, anti-sunscreen. SPF negative thirty to cancel it out. Jack is back, baby. Thank you, Arthur. I'm... I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. Go be with your family. Hmm. <laughs> Do as Dutch says. You got money. And everything is good again, except that we're only supposed to be here for a couple days before we ship out to wherever else. There isn't a werewolf in this game. Well, there hasn't been so far, but we are now in New Orleans, so we might end in, like, you know, a misty bayou. So we might be encountering a werewolf soon. Yo, we got a song on. Do, I, do we got a seat on the around the fire for me? Here comes your favorite song. There's no seat around the fire for old Arthur. There it is. None of the gringos know any of the lyrics. They're all just kind of swaying awkwardly. Oh, there we go. Are you singing, Arthur? Lunar is moon. Oh, 
That's all I know. This is a good activity for drinking. It, it, it does seem like a fun activity for drinking. I have never drunkenly sung around a campfire. But maybe I will one day in my life. Boca means mouth. Does it really? Okay, good. You have a sound clip to share? Share away, Drownin. Calzones? I guess that was the O to the Calzones. Beautiful. Well, that's fun. Corazones means hearts. Oh, I thought it. Okay. That makes more sense in Calzones. Bye. Do you know much about the Spanglish? Was was there any English in the in the in the Spanish? I th wasn't it just Spanish? Um, oh, I have like no quests on my map. Interesting. I guess I'm just. I probably just have to wait until morning. Is the idea? Um, interesting. I'll pay off my bounty next time I have to go into town. You know less about Spanish than you do about Spanglish. You know, I think I do too. I suspect I would uh, recognize. A lot of words in Spanglish. Gang are celebrating safe return of Jack will be unavailable for other activities for a while. Gotcha. I guess I'm supposed to just be uh, interacting with people here. What is this sound clip? I can't tell what this is. It's annoying. I, I, I can never actually listen to your sound clips, Ronan, because I can't tab out on this computer because it resets the game to off of full screen. But I'm sure everyone else can enjoy the, the, the sound clip. Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Wait, what? I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. Tahiti? Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh. How are you doing, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. You boys? Uh, we got lucky this time. I don't think we did too good, actually. I racked up a big bounty because it took me forever to escape from the cops, and I tripped over my horse like four times. But thank you. Oh, wait, there's Stu here. Stu. Very bad cover of the song they just sung. Oh my god. Is that like a famous song that other people know? I mean, it makes sense they didn't make up the song just for the for the game. Sorry, it ain't spaghetti. Yeah, I might have a couple. Where is Kieran anyway? I haven't done anything with Kieran since the very start of the game. I thought he was kind of funny. Sounds familiar to you? You think they sung it in some cartoons? Oh, I'm I'm unfamiliar. Hey, John. Oh, I will. He's a brave boy. Where, okay, here is this Karen? Karen, I haven't talked to you once since the start of the game. Can I talk to you? No. Eh. Eh. Come on. Here. suspiciously as usual. I'm just trying to give you all your moment. He's he's so nervous. He's funny. These guys know so many songs. That's got to be the crazy, the biggest difference between living in 1899 and hitting today is these people know all these songs. They can just bust out on a song for any occasion, whenever they want. Hey, Micah. Not joining the festivities, I see. Had fun robbing graves, I hear. Yeah, more your style. Anything else around here? I guess I go to bed at some point. When I'm done with the festivities. You know, boys, yes. There ain't no being saved. Oh, we're getting deep philosophical no late in the night. <laughs> Them fights was over long ago. 
never happened. It was only invented to make you feel something out of nothing. What the hell are you talking about, Micah? Ain't sure nothing makes a difference. Can't see how. Tide comes in, tide goes out. Mm -hmm. He was born. Tide comes in, tide goes out. You can't explain that. Do what you do. Ain't no good, ain't no bad, just things that make you feel good or make you feel sad and just the length of time between being born and dying uh-huh there is that's crazy man <laughs> totally crazy no old man judging man ain't no heaven listen to this dickhole little uh cowboy inventing nihilism and thinking he's a genius warren okay I've had it. I think I've had enough of your rambling for one night, Micah. Where's my Where's my bed anyway? I actually don't know. Speedy Gonzalez sings it. Oh, really? Drinking. Oh, there's lots of drinking. Oh, should I be drinking with these guys? I forgot that was a thing. Where are my drinks? Take whiskey bottle. Dutch. I'm slurping. I'm slurping. We did it. We did it. Yes, we did. <laughs> okay. Is that all we have to say? I guess that's all we have to say. I'm gonna chug this entire whiskey bottle, and then I can start singing. There's no room at this table for me, so I'm just awkwardly standing here. Maybe I need another drink. <laughs> Feels good to have a win for once. You mean like in the story, getting to just hang out around the fire and celebrate actually winning? Or do you mean you recognizing the lyric <laughs> as something Speedy Gonzalez saying? Yeah. It's true, it is a nice little break for these poor guys. I get the feeling that something terrible is going to happen tomorrow to compensate. Things can't stay good for too long with these people. Especially as long as, uh, you know, Dutch is constantly scheming. Take us all to ruin. We're, there's, we're supposed to be able to... Oh, hold on, wait, I see it. It's over here. This is where the beer is. I'm looking for the beer. Next mission is going to be rough. I don't know. It, it, it's been rough for a while. We might get to do the open world for a little bit now. You know what I mean? We get to explore the city and um, set up a new status quo for the chapter. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a while before things get bad again. Hello, everyone. I don't actually know how to end this party. <laughs> I don't actually know where my bed is. Where is my bed? Oh, do I sleep in stairs? In, uh, or in stairs? Inside, that's the word I'm looking for. I think my bed is inside. What's up, uh, Karen? Sorry. Yeah? Every time Karen gets drunk, she comes, <laughs> she comes up to me. I think she's got a thing for me. It's kind of crazy that all these people in the gang aren't just, like, fucking. You know what I mean? I feel like there would be a lot more uh, intimate relationships among these gangs of outlaws. She likes me. I do think she likes me. But who could resist the beard? Like a puppy. Well, hey, I, I wouldn't go that I wouldn't say that. You know? Unprovoked, at least. Where's my room? Is this my room? Oh shit! Sorry, Hosea. Do I sleep here? What's wrong, Arthur? Oh, uh, nothing. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just you trying to find my bed. There? I'm very all right. You are drunk. Yeah. There's a note here. What does this note say? Dear Arthur, do not read my notes. Love, Hosea. Criminals escape from jail. In broad daylight yesterday, Dutch Vanderlyn and Hosea Matthews were arrested after a string of confidence. Confidence tricks. Huh. 
This is their origin story. Is that lightning? Okay, sorry, I, I woke you up, Isaiah. Where do I sleep? I don't know where my tent or bed is in this new camp. Am I upstairs? Oh god. That lightning is going to just burn this mansion to the ground. <laughs> Do I sleep where this old man shot himself? No. God. Existence and oblivion. Um, god, that is... That is a long book to... Sorry, that's too much to read. I'm sure it's very interesting, but that is a lot of book to read. There's a lot of things to read in here. What the hell? Oh, hey! Yo, Dutch, what are you doing here? Oh, you sleep here. I see. I guess that makes sense. Um, letter. Okay, I'm trying to find which bed is mine. <laughs> that storm is sounding very terrifying. I genuinely think we're about to burn the mansion down. Oh, this looks cozy. Do I sleep here? Tell me I sleep here. God damn it. Who are you pe- Oh. Oh, this is this is the lovely couple and their kid. Okay, my bad. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Um. Huh. So... <laughs> so which one is mine? Is it this bed? Is this- Ah! Wait, sit? I can sit on this bed. No. Speaking of burning the mansion down, didn't you guys start a fire before you left? How is it still standing? Uh, different mansion, I think. You're thinking of the Braithwaite mansion, right? This, is, this isn't the Braithwaite mansion. This is some Confederate holdout mansion that we cleared in a different side quest. Hello, Lenny. Lenny! Lenny! <laughs> <laughs> Good times. That's funny. I have no idea where I sleep. Lenny! That was a fun quest. Here, one of these, one of these I have to sleep. It would be funny if it happened again. I couldn't put Arthur through that. Unless I'm supposed to. Maybe I need to do that. Drop some of that loan money in the box. Oh, did I? Did I forget to do that? Lenny! Hello! Oh god. Everyone's going to bed. The party's over? I guess the party's over. Fuck, I still haven't found where my bed is. And like, the sun's almost coming up. Oh no. Um, I feel like it's very relevant to know where my bed is. Because, you know. Oh, hello, Bill. I need that for shaving purposes and other gameplay reasons. Rest? Rest. No. Uh. <laughs> Okay. Sits in puddle. It's the most restful place around. Okay, I have an idea. You're back? Welcome back, what? Did you manage to get the stuff off of your face? You know, the, that creamy white stuff? Okay, my plan is that if I can't figure out how to sleep in camp, I'm just gonna go 10 feet away. Hold on, I'm gonna go mm, 100 feet away. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna make, cannot set up camp right now, god damn it. I'm gonna make my own camp to pass time. You know, with blackjack and hookers. Resident sleeper, I'm trying my best to resident sleeper. Okay, the game doesn't want me to set up camp. I think the game wants me to do something at the party. I just don't understand what. I think I missed something important or relevant, I don't know. It's still there, you assume? Oh, no. Did you get yourself some food? Food would be good. I had Don Don noodles today. 
Maybe I need to injunken myself. Okay, fine. I'm going to just grab some whiskey bottles until Arthur passes out. How about that? That's one way to get to sleep, right? I am... Okay, another whiskey bottle. I'm hurting my health core very bad. Okay, we're drunk. Get another one. I didn't check the mansion thoroughly enough, you think? I'm pretty sure I checked every room up in there. You would think my camp would be, like, noted on the map. It used to be. Like, with the old camp, there was a symbol showing me where my bed was. Okay. Maybe I need to, maybe I need to check out the mansion again. I'm pretty sure the symbol for the camp was where my bed was before, but here it's just Hosea's bed. Am I supposed to sleep with Hosea? Working on that and ooh sounds good. It was pretty good. Is there a room next to what's his name's room? Hosea? Sorry, Hosea. Uh, Hosea does not. It seems to okay. This seems to be a single bedroom at the end of the hall. This just loops back around to the staircase over here, right? Um, according to the mini map, and then we just go upstairs, and then there's just upstairs. There's just not that way. What do you mean not that way? That's the only way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm confused. This is Hosea's room. This goes outside. Time to turn in. Oh God, I'm not drunk anymore. Okay, this is getting dumb. <laughs> Why can I not sleep in this bed? I guess this I guess someone else is going to be sleeping here. How's the video game? I am currently stuck celebrating for 20 minutes because I can't find where my bed is in camp. Hey Jackie. Cactus to you as well. Congrats on being even today. How are you feeling? How are you doing? About out on the patio? Is this where I'm supposed to sleep? No. Awful, another fun day at work. I am so sorry to hear that. Give all debts. Oh. Okay, I forgot to do this, apparently. You're home finally? Yes. You must hold on to that. Finally home. That's what matters. The wariness of work can wash off you now. Can the map change when I'm indoors? Uh, I don't know. Has the map changed? Health supplies, provisions, butcher. Huh. I have no idea, but I guess it's morning now. We successfully waited so long that it became morning and the party ended. So now we can do quests again. <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. I don't know what the game wanted me to do there. Uh, confused me, but sure. Watch his mom just give up controlling her child. He was throwing peanuts and she asked him nicely not to. He kept doing it and she just gave up. God. I would, I mean, on one hand it's terrible, but imagine like having a kid and you realize that you can't be a mom or like you're not good at it. Imagine how utterly soul breaking it's going, it would have to be to like be a parent and realize that you're actually just like terrible at it. My biggest fear. <laughs> hey, Arthur. What's up, Hosea? If we're gonna make it to this party, we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde is finally showing his true colors. Mm -hmm. Social climate. What are we doing exactly? Oh right, I forgot. We're going to that. Uh, we're going to that ball. So my suggestion is that governor's party or whatever. 
No way you're looking that up in the monster of a walkthrough. Yeah, for like what you're supposed to do with this song. I, I wouldn't even know how I would Google at it. Yo, I got a tuxedo? How do they get money for this? I didn't even shave for this. That's insane. No, 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 pickpocketing. We are here to make real content. Everyone feels like a bad parent. Some are just a lot worse than others. Yeah, I guess that's probably true. No one really knows what they're doing. And the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. I'm sure that we will find some. Okay. God, we just had a party. <laughs> The Earth needs to cool Gentlemen, down now. It's 9:30. I agree with this sentiment. The mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. <laughs> last year's incident. <laughs> Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please. Gentlemen. Okay. So Came in on one of the sauciest parts. What's up, Noilsy? Saucy, you say? This is my first time playing, yes. I just spent 20 minutes wandering around a campfire. Or a party, because I didn't know how to end the scene. <laughs> and uh, now we're in another party, but this one is more upscale. Oh, hello. A lot fancier. My Arthur does not fit in well with the tuxedo, I gotta say. He's a little bit too mountain man. Return to the escort. Ooh. Welcome in, Donoyle. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Are you do, you... do you work again tomorrow, Jackie? No, sorry. I'm going the wrong way. Do you sleep with my Arthur? I mean... Yeah, I'm not saying he's not hot. I'm just saying he's not exactly fancy... New Orleans ball type of look, you know? Yes, and Monday. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm very sorry. If it makes you feel any better, I was doing TOA with Sven today, and we did not, and I did not get my thread. I got nothing whatsoever. I don't know why that would make you feel better, but maybe, maybe you can find something good in there. Hey, Arthur looks like Hohenheim. Ah, yes. Hohenheim. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri mm -hmm. Lemieux. <laughs> Lemieux. He can do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto <laughs> Fuzal. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he. Something funny about Dutch <laughs> saying that politics is like nasty business or whatever. And Dutch is basically just a politician in outlaw form. major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh the Redskins. <laughs> I have no oh, God. for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? Jesus. <laughs> yes, hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm -hmm. the self-righteous newspaper man. Uh oh. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> not the newspaper man. paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. What? And yes, you are. So what do you mean? You kill people in cold blood like all the time, or at least I do. Help in any way I can. For half my missions. Within reason. Within I'm reason. Going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taking. None taken. <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> You're rethinking the hosta. Is it really bad? Is it not working out? It has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar stuff. Dying costs a few minutes, true. You long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. 
Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Josh is holding in his desire to just murder what, these people. Uh, exactly have your plans here. But we've not made any. Well, we are going to need some money. Money. Mm. Yes, of course. Well, money. There's money at the trolley station. What's a hosta? It's an item in old school RuneScape, which is an MMO that me and Cora play. Is my guest back? Do it, huh? Okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. Okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino. Sort of reference to the word sphere in Latin. Oh, is that really where it comes from? I mean, I've just heard. I think I've just. I actually don't know if I've heard the word Hasa outside of RuneScape. That's one of those words where I'd be like, oh yeah, that's a word. And then it's like, is that the word that I only knew from RuneScape or not? Half of my vocabulary I learned from playing RuneScape as a kid, so it, sometimes it mixes up. You know, RuneScape is an outsider? Yeah, I mean, I figured. I guess it's a little condescending to explain that RuneScape's an MMO because I probably most people who on Twitch will have at least heard of it. Gentlemen. Roman spearmen were hoste. True. Yes. That makes sense. Because Hastati in Rome Total War. Hastati are your are your lower lowest tier troops as Roman factions. Of course. Okay. Talk to the mayor. Don't steal anything. I can do this. I'm good at not stealing things. I haven't stolen a single thing all game. I'm a good boy. I got light side points. <laughs> Look at how hunched over Arthur is. He just do doesn't have the posture of a refined gentleman. Linguistical learning? Oh, we love linguistics around here. At least I do. You didn't really know what RuneScape was until around five years ago? Yeah, it is eternal. It's like 20 years old at this point. Eventually relegated to only the Triarii, yes. The Triarii, or like the old uh, Greek-style hoplite formation that eventually the Romans largely outphased. Hello. Champagne. Selling GF memes stuck in your head? It's only 10k. Clearly not from this swampy owl hall. Okay. Stranger. I'm going to compliment this musician. I'm oh, sorry. I want to talk to this stranger. Probably not. Okay, some dude being racist in the corner. Being racist at a fancy party. Why not? Hey, is this Bill and Hector Fellows? I would like to talk to you. No. Aren't I supposed to talk to Hector? No, Hector is the uh, newspaper guy. I don't need him. Wait, what? Okay. This guy's not talking to me. Where was the mayor again? The mayor. Look like the NPC wanted to stand where I was standing and said gave up and walked off entirely. Oh, really? I didn't notice that. I did not notice that detail. Pickpocketing men until you can afford a husband though. That's what fancy parties are for. Or were those two separate thoughts? Because I agree. You got to get your hands dirty if you want to get the boys. It's a law of RuneScape. Good day, sir. Gentlemen. How do you do, sir? Oh. I I got honor points. Why did I get I just got light side points. Why oh oh hold on, hold on. My my mini map is now showing me where to go. I guess I got honor for what? Not stealing things? I didn't even see the option to steal anything yet. <laughs> Many scenarios as we can play out, but there's an end game. Oh yeah, I imagine so. Hello. It ain't complex, Lemieux. Lemieux. No, an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> hmm. Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. Ferdinand. Drunk, you fool. But this man, 
This man loves darkies. Uh oh. I'm pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me, Kula? <laughs> Arthur hears someone being racist and is like, I'm gonna go waterboard this guy for the fuck of it. Holy shit, it's humid in here. I'm sorry. He's drunk. He's drunk, but I think the drunkenness is more just him showing off. I don't. He doesn't seem that drunk, you know. I think he's mostly just racist. Count to a thousand. You rejoin the party. Hello, sir. Okay, we did it, Mayor. We pushed that guy away for you. Drunk words or sober thoughts? So true, Balsa. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Le Mieux. I, I don't know. I feel like I don't. I need to like black out before I really lose the inhibition when I drink. But in general, yeah. Do you know every We seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Uh oh. Who's this one? Oh, fireworks. Bronte, the guy who said he loves black eyes. These people were something else. Yeah. That's fair. I mean, it makes sense that the Italian would not be all in on the American, like, style of racism. But, like, the locals would obviously be pretty bad. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Okay, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. I think I'm... Something about Cornwall? Uh-oh. Cornwall. What? Not good. Yeah, the Italians definitely face discrimination. And it's more just that, you know, they're not indoctrinated on the whole idea of, you know... Ooh, Disney World. That Americans were. Are caught a couple of dresses popping in quality. There is a lot of pop in on my graphic settings. It's true. On the lighting, it's kind of noticeable. It's very pretty. Your apologies if you've offended anyone. I don't think you've said anything offensive, gentlemen. Don't worry. I should call you Drew, probably, unless you want to be called gentlemen. Yeah, as an Italian American is a slight meme on this channel. Stay back from the servant to make sure you're not spotted. Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Press Y to eavesdrop. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. Yes. We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terrapin. Mr. Terrapin? Isn't that a turtle? You're baking down there in the south. Yeah, we're getting our first really hot weekends here in California, too. Which just sucks, because for a while it was actually relatively mild. Like, June wasn't that bad. The mayor said he would sign later. Sign later? Uh-oh, what's he signing? Some exclusive contract with uh, Cornwall? <laughs> Italians have their own black slurs you won't be using on Twitch. I mean... Yeah, I, I, Italians are definitely not free of prejudice. But I, I do appreciate you withholding the slurs. How about that? And beat him. I will not have stand or slip in this house. Uh, this guy is not very observant. I am not. I am super sus. I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. I couldn't be more sus if I vented right in front of this guy, and he just, like, is not paying any attention. There's 90 here today? It's been over 100 this weekend here. How hot? Actually, how hot was it today? Do you know, Koro? This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Get out of my sight. Can't get your apartment above 83 degrees? That's pretty nice. <laughs> Not a bad problem to have, I think. Unless you mean below. In which case, that's you not are nice. The most beautiful woman in the galaxy. Oh, Ready Mara, thanks for the follow. Hope you're doing well. I look like Dr. Jekyll. Yeah. Just wait till I bring out the Mr. Hyde. Oh, you meant below? Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, not below 83 is kind of held here, I agree. For me, I think room temperature needs to be at least, uh, or at most, 80. At most. 104, 107 outside. Yep, terrible. 107, okay, 107 here, apparently, according to Cora. 
Retrieve the ledger from the desk. Brenga's wearing blue brings out the depression in my eyes. Do I do I I don't have depression in my eyes, do I? Do you see anything anything depressed in there? No, surely not. How can we be depressed while playing video games? Impossible. Mon cher Angelo, yet again, the city is in debt to you, and I am flabbergasted by your generosity. The magnificent gift you provided will be will prove to be a cornerstone in our financing the dream of establishing a world-renowned university in our city. Okay, so the mayor is getting bribes from what's his face, which makes sense. Isn't there something else I need to get here though? Oh, the ledger is what I'm actually supposed to get. He's getting bribes from uh, Angelo. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. <laughs> you don't know me at all. You think blue is a fantastic color? Thank you. I'm actually wearing black today. My camera makes all, my, all of my shirts look blue. <laughs> and also my, sh bl my lines and whatever. But, but it's a black shirt. <laughs> blue looks terrible on me. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, the honesty comes out. Not pre depressed and playing video games. Man wants to replay the GTA 4 story. I've never played any GTA. Or needs to re replay the GTA 4 story. Yeah, I've never played any of them. So maybe it would depress me. I don't know. I've played games that have depressing storylines before. But I don't know. Even if you watch, even if you watch or play or read a depressing story, it puts you in a good mood. You know what I mean? I so. At least I think so. There's something about seeing a depressing story happen to somebody else instead of you. It's healthy escapism. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. Okay, we got what we needed. We did our espionage. I think I found out how we can grab some of it. Ooh. Big bank. A big bank, baby. I always say I'm wearing black, but how can that be true when my hair is black? My hair is brown. We're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. Mario Sunshine was tough. Mario Sunshine might have taken a couple years off of my life. But depression? I don't know. Poker game. Poker game. So you're saying I'd look good in blue? Thank you. I mean, I do wear blue shirts sometimes. I don't always wear black shirts. It's just that my camera makes every shirt I do wear look blue, regardless right. of whether it's blue or not. Let's get in. My wig is brown. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. I don't know if I could pull off a wig. So pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. Pigeon shit. If you shit. ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Back to making people feel old? Are we talking about the original Minecraft tutorial world? Uh, we have some older folks in here who were never even around for Minecraft in the first place. I played Alpha Minecraft. The first time I played Minecraft, it was very late in its Alpha cycle, I think. And then I played it through most of its beta. So that was, what, like 10 years ago? More? That was pretty old. <laughs> Interesting times, I guess. I missed the cinematic so show. Next? Wait, was the conversation next? important? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He I saw them. We're gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I, I spoke to Evelyn work. Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Sure. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One, mm -hmm. big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Let's go. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> Tahiti, apparently. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. I think okay. you're smelling the horse shit that sucked my shoe there, Dutch. I just miss Dutch being Dutch. Whole game's like a movie. Yeah, the thing with the game is most of the talking I feel like is just like some character interaction that I don't mind if I talk over so much, especially since like as a streamer, if I if I'm never talking when any character on screen is talking, then I just like don't get to interact with chat at all. <laughs> But um, I try to pay attention for the, like the important plot 
cinematics and enough to uh, get a grasp of what I the characters are like. Thank you for your help with Jamie. Oh yeah. He and Daddy are still. Oh right, I forgot about these people. I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Cool. Oh Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Is she coming Why back for me? I not change and be the woman I want to be. I feel like she still wants me. You change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment. Man, fuck you, lady. Life is very confusing. Oh, Arthur. And I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid. <laughs> Life is confusing and I'm not good at it. It's not my fault. Yo. Holy. Noilsy 5,000 bits. What the uh, hell? Arthur, uh, thank you I very much. Dig my vibe and wish me the best. I have nobody well, thank you. That's that's extremely generous together, of you. Uh -huh. I beg of you, even though I am uh, ashamed to do so. I don't know what to say. You that's all. <laughs> Mary. Uh, thank you. My vibe is exceedingly good. I try to have a vibe that's consistent and as good as I, as I can make it. Mary wanting Arthur back. Oh, do I have bad news for you? I mean, she keeps sending me letters. I don't know why she keeps sending me letters if she doesn't want me. What am I going to spend those bits on? Hey, Cloud, I don't know. I'm a little bit in shock. My brain is doing math. I never get bits. I'm like, is that $5 or is that $50? And I think it's $50, which is, um, <laughs> which is, which is, uh, a, that's a lot of money. Thank you. Um, yeah. Probably, realistically, the money is mostly going to be spent on Boba. Or maybe actually getting that gaming mouse that Amazon never delivered to me that I bought the first time. We call it the vibe around here. It's the vibe. We're the first people to ever talk about the vibes. Boba time, I'm a big... I drink too much, honestly. I try to limit myself to one a week. But sometimes I slip, and it's more like one every five days. I think it's five bucks, but after Twitch takes their cut, it's probably two oh three. I isn't it? I thought a bit was one cent, and it's like uh, the Twitch cut comes from the person buying it, not from what the streamer actually receives. So like a, a a bit is actually a cent that the streamer okay. gets, right? You seem well, Reverend. Take those bits. And buy the Mega Man Zero collection. Okay. Shave two zeros off the numbers, and that's what it is. So it is fifty bucks. That that is that, yeah. Cool. Wow. Thank you. I went into town. So did I. If I was still a, a religious man, I'd say there are too many Catholics. Too many Catholics. I've given up. I like when the Reverend comes up to me and starts just. Uh, I met a monk. Harassing me about some random shit that he's been drinking. Is there any purpose to this conversation, Reverend? <laughs> yes, sir. Not really. But he's not really. <laughs> things about all manner of bad things happening in town. Do you have the Mega Man Zero collection? In the city. Who would have thought it possible? When you're my age, you realize. Recommend. I would like to play a Mega Man at some point. Smeeb has been trying to get me to play a Mega Man. I would, I would be down. I don't know which one I would play. Whichever one Smeeb tells me to play, probably. It, how? What's in the Zero Collection? Good morning, Arthur. Yes. Uh, good morning. Mega Man Two is a classic. Okay. Aren't there like ten Mega Men at this point? Trying to get me to play X. Okay. Is that Mega Man Ten? His Bible is a hollow book with with drugs. Now, now, I'm sure his Bible is real, and he read he, he he reads the Bible while crying himself to sleep and feeling guilty over it. It's kind of the vibe that I get for him, and then he just does it again the next day. Mary Beth needs to speak to me. Have I spoken to you a single time all game, Mary Beth? I don't even remember. I didn't even know you were part of this gang. I'll be honest. I don't know who you are. Have I talked to you once this game? Hello, who are Mary you? Beth. How are you, Arthur? Uh, you're th you're the other sorry. woman who I like haven't actually well, had a side quest with. I think it's been quite a run we've had, but but we're still alive. Megaman. So no regrets. Regrets for what? Well, for John and this. She's the sweetest. She does seem kind of nice. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. 
You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Mm -hmm. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time. Everybody's ago. parents in this gang is dead. Continuing the pattern. I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> I did get a letter from her yep. recently. And? Megan Mam X. That all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> She's smoking that very well, loudly. Love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. Mm -hmm. And these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. Oh, yeah? A real problem. It's Tilly. What? Uh -oh. She's been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run. Oh, someone's oh, always being taken. Brothers, what are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be Best doing. mission in the game is drinking Die. with Lenny. That was a fun one. I do li I really like the UI getting uh, all drunk and mixed up as you get progressively more drunk. I'll tell you on the way. Don't become a parent at death sentences in this group. Yeah, or I guess the real if you if you ever die, it's like a warning. If you have a kid and you die, then your kid is going to become a cowboy in an outlaw gang, which actually doesn't sound too bad when you put it like that. So maybe that's a consolation for dying. I don't know. Was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. You told that? No. She spoke to me in confidence. Mm. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. She didn't love me enough or I wouldn't change. Just saying this dialogue is so loaded. Yeah. Yeah? No. I do think that'll come around and be very relevant as we continue to see how Arthur develops in the game. She killed one of them for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly. Okay. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. I think Tilly's another girl who I've never actually talked with so far. It's this mission. There's going to be a guy with a unique white horse with small patches of black on it. An Oreo horse. Yeah. It's interesting having, uh, you know, Mary talking about Arthur not being willing to change and being like, you know too caught up in his high ordeals, ideals or fantasies or whatever. Because to me, Arthur seems to be very, I don't know, kind of down to earth and not thinking a whole lot about his own future. He's mostly just kind of blindly following Dutch, you know, using, using Dutch's fantasies in place of his own ambitions in order to make his life simpler. But maybe he only became that. I don't know when in the timeline he met Dutch. Did he only meet Dutch after he broke up with Mary already? Maybe that was his way of coping. Arthur got shot and tortured. That did happen. That did happen that one time. <laughs> it was pretty bad. You keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by it. Holy shit! She just knifed him through the air. Uh, he's still gasping. Okay, cool. Hey, Epic Kitty. Uh, Sweet Kitty on the coffee table keeps targeting your sister's mac and cheese. Your sister's got mac and cheese? Yo, I would target that too if I was that cat. Or anybody. Whoa, what the hell do I think I'm doing? I think I'm equipping my weapon. That's what I think I'm doing. Uh, how are you wanting us to talk about spoilers? Full, half, no spoilers. Uh, I, in general, I prefer... There we go. Zero spoilers, help, advice, whatsoever for like basically any game that I play. I thought there was. No, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, Miss. Thank you both. Obviously, you know, I'm not going to be like super anal about things, but I remember. Where is you want Boba right now? I always want Boba. Well. I could have got boba today. I, I went to a Chinese place that like has boba, but they've got like the weird boba where instead of actually having like tapioca pearls, it's like these weird jelly things. It's not very good. You'll keep your mouth shut. I mean, you're welcome to talk about you know what's going on or comment on you know on things. Or call me stupid for making a mistake. Where am I going? 
Ugh. Why, what weapon do I have? I have my fist equipped, that's the problem. There's- oh, this is the horse, you're right, this is the Oreo horse. We got him. Thank you. Oh, that's the horse. Wrong way. The Oreo horse is pretty nice. I am riding the horse. I'm on the Oreo horse. I guess it's more of a cow horse. A cow horse for a cowboy. 101 Dalmatians and a horse. This is the largest of the 101 Dalmatians. How are you alive? You want to talk about anything story related or side quest related? Let me just. Oh, wait. Lasso the gang leader. Gotcha. Is this. Is this one the leader? You suggest keeping it? You think? I don't know. I've just bought, like, some $15 horse at the start of the game, and I've just been riding that around the whole time. Uh, rope him? I'm pretty far. Hold on. Let me get in range. I'm not in range! I think. No, I'm definitely not in range. Uh... Oh, fuck! God, I missed. Oh, I didn't miss. Okay, the game was very, very forgiving on that. Okay. Uh, won't talk about anything story related or side quest related. Oh, hello. Whoa! God damn it! Did I not hold that correctly? You love this game so much, you're just enjoying the first time experience vicariously. I totally get that. I totally understand uh, <laughs> the the appeal of first game or, or first playthrough viewing for games that you care a lot about, especially with stories that you know you can never experience for the first time again. Uh, something something Outer Wilds. I'm good at tying people up. I'm actually pretty bad, given that uh, performance right there. But you know we did it. This horse's name is Appaloosa. You have the first idea what you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Find it remarkably horsey. There is a lot of horse in this game. Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Oh, Arthur. You and your humor. Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? Is there a good reason we're capturing this guy? Yes. She's cutting into me. He uh He captured one of our one of the girls who run with our gang because she ran afoul of them a little bit while ago. I wasn't paying close enough attention to the exact details, but he was, uh, he had her tied up in a pretty bad way. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a... Son of a bitch. Carrying this man is easy as butter. Good thing I had that horses and saw last week. Yeah, I mean, I, I do think it's very remarkable the way that Arthur manages to balance bodies on the rump of his horse. Like, I would think this would slip off very easily. Is he, like, tied to my saddle? I guess he must be. He, he kind of just, like, drapes them over and then they never fall off. So where you saw a horse in this mission with a name? Oh. Oh, is Appaloosa the breed, not the name? I see. He's gotta be tied, he's gotta be tied. Maybe he's just magnetic, you know? Maybe the horse has a magnetic butt. <laughs> and the and the right. and the guy has a magnetic stomach. Uh, I don't know. Remove Anthony Foreman. Appaloosa is a breed of horse, gotcha. It's the Dalmatian horse. Alright, Tilly. Are you going to take pity on the man who captured you, or are you going to do some horrific revenge? So he's still alive then? <laughs> yes. You see this girl? I guess. She killed my cousin. Oh, your shit. goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. 
Now, Wait, what buddy says you that? You want your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Hmm. You think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go My on. car? Oh, I'm sp I'm sparing. I'm a sparer. Let's get you home. <laughs> it's done. I get the feeling I'm going to regret sparing him in the sense that um, he will not, in fact, forget about this, and he will come back for Tilly later. But, you know, that's future Tilly's problem and future Arthur's problem. If you were Tilly speaking as a woman who was violated, you would do it way worse. That is a very... I mean, I would not... Uh... I would not have, you know, you know, disagreed if Tilly had wanted the guy dead. Oh, can I not? Oh, this guy isn't my horse anymore. God damn it. But, you know, it was left up to me. And I, I don't know. I'm squeamish about killing people. Well, not squeamish, obviously, because I have to kill dozens of people for every mission. But, um, I don't know. I like... I like not murdering people whenever I get the chance. You spared him once? Oh boy. Arthur dies in the next episode? Koro, I can't believe... You've been here for so long and you're really going to spoil a major plot point like that at a time like this. Why am I teabagging the guy? I don't know. I'm just waiting for him to... I'm thinking about what to do next. Uh, where'd my horse go? Where'd my actual... Where's my real horse? Oh, I didn't take my horse to get here, huh? So my horse is back in. Oh, fine. Okay, I guess I'll go meet this stranger. Oh, and I'll pay off my bounty too. Why not? I should paint the white parts of that horse yellow so the people will mistake it for a banana. Then I'll be able to shoot my enemies while they're distracted laughing. Are bananas funny? Like, if you saw a banana, would you start laughing? Or even a horse-sized banana? I feel like I'd be terrified of a horse-sized banana. Sorry happened 124 years ago. If you don't know it, it's not your fault. Listen. just But it's clearly marked first playthrough. You know? No spoilers. Doesn't matter how old it is. You gotta respect it. Cowboy riding a giant banana isn't funny. Uh? I heard some screams from the basement of the gun. Oh. Well, I would, if, I would think it would be terrifying if he's coming at me. You know, maybe like in the abstract sense, if I'm watching from afar, or if I'm watching on a screen a cowboy on a giant banana, that'd be kind of funny. But um, if I think if it was riding towards me, guns a-blazing, it would be intimidating. <laughs> the banana was coming right for me. I feared for my life. Oops, where am I going? <laughs> it is, I mean, it's pretty scary. It's a giant banana. What am I looking for? I'm looking for my map. I want to see who this stranger is. He's right next to me. Spoiler, Arthur eats a can of beans. Now, here's the thing. I could make that spoiler come true right now. Or I can, uh, whatchamacallit, Utilize my powers of free will in order to prevent the prophecy from coming true. Oh wait, no, I don't have any beans. Okay, never mind. The prophecy will not come true. I have broken the cycle. Does <laughs> being a troll make your dick hard? No. You can say yes, Sakura. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This looks like an escaped convict. Excuse me. What's going on here, gentlemen? What you fools up to? Is Mr. Black's fault? His fault to Darky White. Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Oh, Jesus. Okay. You, you really live it. Now it's dark outside. It is nighttime now. Bulgaria. Yeah. Fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah. What of it? 
What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. Even for a darkie. Shut up, you mm. tasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I Jesus to hear Christ. No. Do your goddamn favor. What you want? Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. Well, nobody. Okay. You're still in like prisoners' clothes. Campfire in the woods. And tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Why am I helping these nice guys? There's fellow. no money in this. Yeah, you love nice fellow. I feel like just taking the wanted posters down won't help if you don't get a change of clothes, too. Quest reminds you of Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Oh, true. I saw that movie in English class in high school, like years ago. I think you were you might have been there for that, Cora, actually. Right. Mr. Black White Guy and Mr. White Black Guy, yes. I assume that's their prison nicknames. Exclamation mark raffle. What are you looking for, Ironhawk? Are you looking for the, the tickets on the raffle? That's in the exclamation mark games sheet, which has not been updated for a little while. Um, what am I looking for? Okay, hold on. Is this, are there wanted posters marked on the map for me? They are not. White guy's remarkably tolerant of others. Well, he's being a... He's using some unkind language towards his colored brethren. Um, but I guess if, you're, if you escape prison with somebody, you can't care too much about the color of their skin, right? <laughs> I think we got off on the wrong spot. Yeah, that movie rules. It warms the heart to see you two make up. It really does. Hmm. Need a change of clothes and a file to saw off their ankle cuffs. Arthur could chew off the ankle cuffs? Probably good. Arthur could just grind it off with his razor beard. Did I see the Confederate soldier? What, is there one right now in town? Oh, is he the guy begging over around this corner? There's someone around this corner with a quick time event. Is that, oh, yeah, this guy. Civil War veteran. Um, I don't have an... Oh, give one dollar. Well, you do look pretty pathetic. There you go. I gave twenty dollars to homeless Confederate war veterans earlier without realizing that they were Confederates or without thinking about it. Can you speak up a little bit? Why is it? There's no subtitles for this cutscene. Okay, there we go. Looking at those Yankee spies during the war and everything. Okay. So, yeah, sure. Huh? Okay, I feel like that was backstory on the Braith raids that I could not hear <laughs> because the game only decided to kick in the audio and uh, subtitles like halfway there. Uh, he sounded like he has what we would call PTSD. Probably. I mean, he lost his leg, and I think the Civil War was pretty fucking brutal. Not a nice... I mean, there are no nice wars to be in, but a particularly unpleasant war. Uh, oh, here, here, here. I see it on my map. Hello. You, wanted poster. Inspect. Mr. White and Mr. Black. <laughs> Forty dollars? Eh, it's not worth turning them in for forty bucks. Put away. Oh, I have to find five of them. Probably see the gunsmith. To, like, upgrade my guns? I haven't upgraded my guns a single time the entire game. I know it's, like, possible, but I don't know. Oh, stranger, can you get off out of here so I can get rid of the bounty, please? Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Man. Okay, how about this? Get the fuck out of here. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? What? Okay. 
I guess I only have one choice with this guy. Whoa! Whoa! I was the law for a while around here, actually. What? Oh, wait. My health core is very low. <laughs> There we go. Bounty hunting bastard. Ah. Good, 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 good. Anyway. <laughs> it's so video gamey. What? Punching this dude because he refuses to move five feet away? Well, we are playing a video game. Prison in this time was horrible. Let him live. Prison in any time is pretty bad, but I agree. And this time it's... I mean, I'm not, I'm not you know... Pro, let uh, I'm not gonna turn these guys in or anything. I would have no reason to. I really could have just reached around him. True, but that's uh, too much work for little old Arthur here. Survivors of the Civil War not only physically hurt, they were psychologically and emotionally hurt. Yes, it was one of the first wars that had you know, kind of modern warfare in terms of weaponry, and uh, it sucked. It it all sucked. It always sucks. I don't have any food. You would have thought the wanted poster would have been drawn rather than a camera picture. Well, it's 1899, Bulgaria. It's uh, you know, they had cameras. They they have electricity even. See, there's like electrical wires and everything. It's not that old. Not that long ago. Um, where do I? Are they drawn on my map for me? It's not. Losers spent over a century telling themselves they hadn't lost. There was, well, yes, there's that whole aftermath of it, too. There's the aspect of, like, one side of it was fighting for something pretty fucking terrible. You're <laughs> the gunsmith has good guns? Man, I hate opening menus and upgrading things. Does he have good guns? Hey, you. Hello. Come on in. What? Uh, customize. Oh my god. What do I use? I use this thing. No, I use this thing. Do I even have this thing? You gotta go now. Good night, partner. Good night, Drew. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you being here. And uh, yeah, I hope you sleep well. These guys all look like deadheads. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I see it. Especially this guy's hair. Oh my, I don't even know which repeater I have on me. Wait, no, I do because it's got the symbol on it if I had it. What happened, what happened to the, I got this Lancaster repeater at some point. Is it on my horse or something? Oh. Okay, I'm already bored, sorry. I don't want to do this. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want a menu. I don't want to do anything. Uh, my hatred for menuing works as a difficulty scale. If I open a menu and I don't immediately understand what it is that I want, I just, I, I'm done. I'm out of here. The thing is, it, it depends when I, it's, tr it's true though. When the game gets so difficult to the point that I need to actually upgrade my gear in order to progress, that's when I begrudgingly accept that it is time to menu. And oh. here's you just strolling through. Excuse me? I've seen folk like you before. Oh, Always you. The first to run screaming. Yeah, that's just a shame, man. My own business. Retrieve the... What? Retrieve the poster from the bounty hunter. Oh, this guy over here. Apparently. Wait, you? You have a poster on you? Why do you have a poster on you? Stop killing townsfolk? This guy's taking a poster with him. Excuse me. Mister. I need that poster. There's, There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This was mine, so you can go and get your own. Uh-huh. All right, man. I guess we're going to have to do it the hard way. I told you, fella. This poster's mine. Don't make me tell you again. Oh, and I'm waiting for the witnesses to leave. You taking liberties, boy? No, I'm taking posters. So 
someone make a mod where Grateful Dead is suddenly playing in the background of every scene? It'd be pretty cool. I, will, I, I feel like it wouldn't be particularly... Uh... Oh, I was supposed to go after the witnesses. I forget how that works. Oh, God, there's cops. That's fucked up. Well, listen, he was going to be a bounty hunter in order to go after those prisoners, so I'm the good guy here. That's the Arthur you love? Just fuck him up? I don't like fucking people up. Now I'm going to die to the cops, because I don't have my horse. Where is my horse? You have band shirts that lasted longer than the Confederacy. Does that mean Metallica is your heritage? <laughs> Wait, is my temporary horse? Wait, where's my non-temporary horse? Oh, right. Right. That's not good. Yeah, the Confederacy existing for four years is uh, kind of a mood given how long of an impact, or how much of an impact it's had on history. Well, at least American history. How are you doing, Dronin? I hope you're comfortable in bed. I know it looks like I just killed a man in cold blood, but you have to understand, he had a bounty poster on him, and I'm trying to sell some escaped prisoners, not be hunted, so really I'm the good guy here. You gotta believe me. It was only five dollars for killing that man. My bounty. It, this is ridiculous. I go into New Orleans and the whiskey costs two bucks. And then I and then I kill a man and the bounty for doing that is five dollars. <laughs> like what the fuck? It says a lot about society. Okay, we have one more, I think, to collect, right? I should also probably put this horse in a stable. There shouldn't be any reason to have so little of a bounty as $5. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, you know, at the time, $5 is a lot of money. It's like, you know, two and a half whiskeys. Just the worth of a life in a Rockstar game, apparently. It must be a sad existence to be an NPC in a Rockstar game, knowing that your life is worth so little. It must be odd from a philosophical perspective to just know that you're near worthless. Headache? Had one last night too, kind of un uh, unusual in a mood. On the bright side, you sort through a whole bunch of old papers, and you have an almost two-inch pile of documents to shred. Ooh, shredding. I find shredding very satisfying. I should not park my horse on this train tracks. This is a thought. Did 2KC with minions? Yo! Congratulations, Goro! You're almost there. You'll be getting those 20 kill trips soon. Society? It says a lot about society. Oh, oh, there it is. There's the thing. It's right there. It's right. Oh, it's actually inside. I was just there. Uh, your brother went to hospital because he'd eaten so many little plastic horses. They said his condition was stable. Ha. Ha. Good. Good weapons. I like it. You know, it's one of the better ones that we get around here. I'll say that. Some There's a, there's a couple of real punsters in here who think that they're hot shit, but I can accept that. We all feel like $5 NPCs, you think? I think everybody has at some point, honestly. The definition of imposter syndrome. It's feeling like a $5 NPC in a big budget uh, AAA action hero world. If you want to win at the auction, use your own money. I'm human, I don't have any Wait, did I not take the thing? Yo, Noyle, thank you for another 3,000 bits. Holy shit. Good jokes improving? I'm improving? Well, thank you. I, I I like to think that I'm improving <laughs> over time. It was fi 50, not 5? Oh, shit, I can't read. Thank you so much, Noel. That is that is extremely generous of you, like I say. That's a lot of money. Noel's he up the game. Now we're worth $80. <laughs> is, this the is this... Are you putting a bounty on me, Noel Z? Is this the idea? 
Are you trying to get me? Are you trying to get bounty hunters on my tail? Oh, where am I going? I have the five things, right? Where where's their little temporary camp? Let's go over here. Yeah. That's the only explanation that I could ever think of of why someone would willingly give me that much money. But you know, I, I won't question it. Thank you, thank you. I look at me, look at me. A modern gamer, take away my waypoint, and what am I? I'm nothing. Where do I? Where are these people's camps? Play Red Dead Online for a few months. It was so sad and tragic. Really? I don't know a whole lot about like the online for this game. Like, is it popular? Is it good? I mean, you make it sound bad, but you know, Rockstar has abandoned this franchise so much. Well, I mean, didn't this game take like eight years to make? I don't know. I feel like it's hard to maintain a franchise with their level of quality and standard to keep up with the kind of like, I don't know, yearly franchises or ongoing, uh, I guess, work that like online games require. I think, or, or maybe they're just like more interested in the, the stories, you know, the single player experience. I have like no experience with it. Because like, you know, I've never, this is my first Rockstar game. Seems like it's going to take eight years to play. Well, if I can't find these people's camp. Okay, where where did I find them? Maybe I need to go over here. Yearly franchises? Well, I'm saying like, the, the level of content that you would expect in order to like, you know, constantly have updates or constantly be supported year on year is sort of at odds with like the super detailed highly polished experience that they spend like eight years making for these games. You know what I mean? They pull in so much money from GTA, they don't care. You think they don't care? I feel like they just like put a lot of effort at this point. I don't know. Did I find my bed earlier? I did not drone in, no. I just waited until morning so that I continue playing the game. I still don't know where to actually sleep. Oh my god, I got lost. Okay, where did I meet these guys? I meet. I met them over here, I think, right? No, I met them back here. I met them behind the general store, didn't I? I think I met them behind the general store. Now again, I, I have no real understanding of Rockstar. I've never played a Rockstar game. Goddamn governments and remember the Only our weapons and our wits keep us free. I agree. Only your weapons and your wits keep you free. After a hundred percent for Arthur Morgan having spent a few hundred hours in RDO, how ridiculous the gaming industry is. I mean Yeah, I don't know. I don't even play AAA games usually. So for me this is all sort of like new territory. Where am I going? Is this their camp? They said they'd make a camp. This seems too high profile for escape convicts. I'd imagine them to be out in the woods. Okay, this ain't them, right? This ain't black and white, no way. They're making Bully 2? I never played Bully 1. You want to see a game with a drowsy meter, meaning you can avoid sleep and you get progressively disorientated. I'm, you know, that would be a feature that I would almost have expected them to include in this game. For all the ways you can get drunk and you have to maintain your core meters and whatnot. Bully is real good. I feel like I've heard you mention it before. You can kiss girls and punch people. Oh. I do enjoy kissing people. If it's fun, keep doing it, that's all. You still replay RDR2 nearly every day just for the fun of hunting. I respect that. I think I... What? Oh, hold on. I need to save a woman. Hello. Whoa, 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 You brought your damn self to ruin. Me? Whoa! My damn self to ruin. That's a fancy turn of phrase. Whoa, he brought a knife to a fist fight? Jesus Christ. Okay, 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 hold on. Wait, take out the knife, Arthur. There you go. 
Yeah, no, I respect that. For me, I play games for basically their story or for their first playthrough, and then I kind of move on. I've, like, never replayed... Well, I've almost... I, like, never replay games. And I have a hard time getting into the kind of more... I don't know. I guess flary, atmospheric, like chill depth of a game like this. Like I don't really care a, a whole lot about the hunting systems or the fishing systems or the upgrading your weapon systems or anything like that. That guy deserve it. He does. He does deserve it. All these bits call for celebration. What are we adding? But what is this emote? Omega dance. Okay. All right. I, I feel it. You only cat a homie. Waka, that's respectable. All the homies deserve cats. Oh my god. Why? This quest had markers for all of the posters. And now it doesn't have a marker for where to turn it in. Where did I meet these people the first time? Uh, do I know what that dance is from? Ain't that the... I, it's associated in my head with peanut butter jelly time, but I don't know if that's right or original or even connection at all, at all relevant. I got that one? Okay, good. Oh, 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 oh wait, no, never mind. That's not right. Oh my god, dude, I'm so lost. I don't know where these stupid convicts went. I, get, I got turned around. I don't remember which part of town I first saw them. Dude, but I'm, I'm invested at this point. I spent so much time. I killed a man in order to take one of their posters. You know what I mean? I can't give up now. Wasn't it a Smeebit reference? It was a butt reference. Okay. Yeah, no, sure. You can keep your record clean. I'm going in circles, by the way. Okay, let me try to think. Where did I meet these people? Where did I see them? Was it, it was by this tree, wasn't it? It was totally by this tree. Wait, no. I don't remember this platform being here. This, like, hanging... I guess this is the hanging tree. <laughs> this is the town's hanging... I don't remember them being by the hanging tree. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. This is sad and pathetic. Hmm. And it's not on my map at all. No. No. Fence? Here's my thing. Gunsmith. Is it on the other side of... Let me try to think. Okay. Where was I? I don't even know where I was on the map. I can't even answer the question of like where I was on the map in order to get in here. I'm trying to retrace my steps to figure out where I encountered these guys on the first time. Was I on the train track side? or the, I'm pretty sure I was on this non-train track side. I'm pretty sure I was over here. Uh, okay, I'm going to look for two more minutes and then I'm going to give up. <laughs> I don't... I, you know, I don't really need to uh, talk to them in order to save their life. Do I still have my knife out? I do still have my knife out. Do you think I shouldn't? Do you think it intimidates people to have my knife out? It's dangerous? I can handle it. I'm a hardened criminal. Okay, hold on. So here's where I killed that guy, right? I killed that guy here. I was walking through town. Where's that pole where I beat that guy up? Not here. Here. Here is the beaten people up pole. Right? No. No. Where's the pole that Dickwad was standing in front of? Huh? This one. This one. Okay, this one. Alright, okay. Get, get out. Whatever, man. Just You're in my way of my horse. Jesus, get out of the way. Okay. And then I go over here. Parlor house. Pole position. We have the pole position. Was it back here that I... On the other side of the train tracks? Maybe it was the other side of the train tracks. Oh, you know what? Maybe it was. Maybe it was. Like here. Yes. This looks familiar. 
Was it here that I met uh, George Clooney? Oh, Clooney! Where art thou? And they said they would make camp somewhere. Okay. I said I would give it two more minutes. I've given it two. I have no fucking clue where these people went. I give up. I took th I took their bounties down, which means that they'll be fine. Unaware, I'm unaware. Uh, that's okay. The point, even if I don't get re my reward, even if I don't finish the quest, I get the satisfaction of knowing that I made a huge difference in these people's lives. Also, why am I moving my horse anywhere? I forgot I have fast travel. You laughed almost as much at me running down that guy with my horse? Uh, oh, can't, there's activity nearby, what the hell, damn it, as you did at the guy, I failed to choke out an MGS, I did just kind of knock him over, and he didn't even, like, put a bounty on me or anything, which surprised me, hello, set up camp, please, no, I can't set up camp because the train is going by, that's frustrating, okay, Okay, now the train is gone, so now I can set up camp, Rep, right? Oh, an herb. This is the second herb I've picked up in the entire game. What is it? Time. Okay. It may well be the last herb I pick up in the entire game. No, I can't create camp while there's activity nearby. While there's a... What activity? Where's the... <laughs> where's the activity? What? Huh? What activity? Am I tripping? Oh, there's another train. I'm just gonna ride my horse there. God damn it. Fuck this. Well, that was a huge waste of time. This is why I don't interact with the open world in this game whatsoever, because the second I stop doing the main quest line, <laughs> I just like. <laughs> I just get fucked over by whatever the mechanics are and the systems that I don't understand. There's a joke somewhere in creeping time. Is this the creeping time? 30 minutes before the end of stream, when everything gets all creepy. It's me, I go there. Okay, now for the real question. <laughs> Where am I supposed to sleep in this camp? <laughs> I've still yet to figure this out. You gotta talk about creeping time, it's too creepy. Do we have to do this every stream? What do you mean every stream? I don't think we've ever talked about creepy time, creeping time before. Well, the thing is, I've already spent so long wandering around here trying to figure out where I sleep, and I've never found it. Am I really going to find it now? Fuck it. I'm just going to do this quest with Sadie. I like Sadie. Sadie, let's do a quest. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? <laughs> haven't How talked you? about it. It's true, I really haven't. Since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Hey, we went to one ball. Yeah. One ball does not high society make. I think my days in polite society are over. Well... I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. True. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. I, Ms. wait. Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come Robin with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over <laughs> the whole world. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. I like how all these quests that are like start with you talking to one character and then you talk to that character for five seconds and then Dutch just bursts and is like, eh, actually we're doing this other quest instead. 
I ain't never robbed in a city before. Okay. Well, you leave the planning to me. We're robbing. Right with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that mm -hmm. depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make him change. Very <laughs> funny. What is that? Make him change. Very funny. Oh, God. What the hell? Oh, no. Not Kieran. What the fuck? Kieran. What the hell? A Driscoll's at a time like this? I don't even... Okay, I do have my gun. Never mind. Not Kieran. I liked Kieran. Man. Need it? Get to the front door. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay. That this quest took five different turns in like two seconds. I'm really shooting the shit out of them. I mean, they're shooting the shit out of me. It's just people you're hoping for haunted shit. Yeah, I'm sorry. Nothing haunted yet. Oh my god, I can't see. Where? Where's where's enemy? There you go. I took out a lot of them really fast. I have my good gun on me. I don't know how many of those people I actually killed, to be fair. Wagon? I don't like this I don't like the sound of a wagon. We're retreating, apparently. What in God's name is going on? Ow. Push the cabinet. 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 This cabinet. Probably. It, ain't this the cabinet? Okay, yeah, it is. It's the Nazgul. It is the Yeah, the, the Adriscals um, kind of have this whole ninja outfit going on. I don't know why they're all hooded and cloaked. You take the windows over there, Charles. Take the side door there. The windows in the back. Go. Oh. Okay. Is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey, I said it's everyone accounted for. I don't know. I think. Okay. Good. That's Mrs. Adler. Mrs. Adler? Oh no. Mrs. Adler. Where is she? Oh, she's down this way. Whoops. Wrong way. Sorry. I'm coming, Mrs. Adler. Oh god. Sadie. Oh. Oh. She's fine. <laughs> I think she's fine. <laughs> she's okay. Jesus Christ! <laughs> she just jerked. The, she just like murdered all three of them with a knife. Okay, I don't think I need to be doing much protecting on Sadie. She's literally insane. She's like fucking. She's actually psycho. Who is she? Wolverine. She does have like the yellow outfit, doesn't she? Where are we going? Whoa! I don't like how exposed I am. Who's shooting at me? God! Oh, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Ah, wrong button. Uh, tonic. Here. No! Can you aim at the... What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm killing these people. What are you doing? Okay. Huh. 
Uh huh. Beautiful. We did it. We won. okay? <laughs> that was random. We were we were about to plot a bank robbery. Poor Kieran, man. Poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me near, but not we too need near. To get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como drizzle. How the hell did that happen? What was what was Kieran doing? I really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. Another camp again. Big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Mm. Shall we? Yep. How many bodies have we buried? Um, I think they've actually mentioned burying, like, maybe five-ish bodies. But we have murdered hundreds of people, I'm pretty sure. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. She is psycho, that's the word you're looking for. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Mm-hmm. We did it. We got a bronze rating. I'm a mini Civil War. Yeah, I mean, we're certainly... We are feuding out here. Stew is currently being prepared. Excellent. I should... Where's the ledger in this camp? Dude, I don't know where anything is in this camp. The first two camps, I could, like, find the relevant things pretty easily. I don't know where my bed is, and I don't know where my ledger is. Or where the camp ledger is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I see the ledger. I see the ledger. That one's marked on the map. Arthur, I can't believe those pigs did that to him. Yes, I agree. He was such a gentle soul. He was. He was like a... He worked at Wendy's or whatever. One time. I'll miss him. Make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. We surely shall. What do beds look like? Um, I don't know. Aren't you in one right now, Dronin? This is what one of the beds looks like. It kind of sucks. Does the knife woman wear a dress? You mean Sadie, who like murdered all those people? No, she wears pants. She's a pants-wearing gal. Oh, wait. Uh, okay, over here. I'm restocking the supplies in camp. Nice? Yeah. I think Arthur likes her. I think Arthur likes any woman who wears pants. I think that's his thing. Uh... I guess I should finish purchasing this, since it's now... $50 is now almost no money whatsoever. Chance to play your game, Smeebit suggestion on the day of spin. Wow, you're giving Smeebit a freebie. Very nice, interesting. Dressed wearing woman also wields a knife. True, I think all the all the women in our troop wield knives on the appropriate occasion. To be fair, but well, good luck, Dronin, or should I say, good luck, Smeebit. Uh, some real firepower. The rifle ammo would be nice here, I guess. Dronin was out of ideas for games to play. So you get a free ticket, Smeebit. You got a golden ticket. You're noticing all the women were in dresses? Uh, a lot of the women are in dresses, but that's because they're like, um, I don't know. The, I mean, I, well, I mean, obviously, like, women wore dresses at the time. But I also think that their role in the gang as outlaws is more as like con people, you know what I mean? So they're like running scams. So they're kind of like outfits a lot of the times. I should get this horse station. It's 
it's not Deus spin yet. It's true. It is not. So it's specifically it has to be his suggestion on the day of spin. Before then, it doesn't count. Fair. Um, this is to make extra gear. I've never crafted a single item in this game. A boat might be useful. I don't know. And that's the rest of my money. Or at the very least, I'm not going to... I have a significant cushion of money to fall back on still. All right, huge. Huge. Now, if only I knew where I slept. <laughs> but I, I guess I've given up at this point. I mean, I've gone to every single room in this, uh, in this camp. And I have not found my camp yet. I haven't found my bed. Wait a minute. Or have I? No, I don't think so. Well, hold on. Wait a minute. Can't tell me where to sleep. That's a spoiler. No, I I, I totally respected weapons. You don't got to You can just let me sit here and suffer. That's completely appropriate. No elving. Have a good night, Dronin. Thank you for stopping by again with the redeem. I hope you sleep well. Hope your headache goes away. You know, that stuff can suck. It's telling me that the ammo thing and the symbol thing, which normally are associated with where I sleep, are directly above this room. Which would mean that it should be, like, here. Yes, it's... It, okay, it is. It's on... Wait a minute. Oh my god! I never noticed this door. I found it. I fucking found it. We did it. We found my room. I can go to bed now. I never noticed this room before. <laughs> Huge. About time. Good night. Well, well, hold on. We still got 10 minutes left on stream. Look at all these wonderful things that we can take now. Repeater cartridges and, and, and ammo, ammunition for all kinds of everything. Okay. Should be good. Can I find my real bed? It's right here, baby. I think. Is it? Yeah. Um, where's the fast travel option that I just saw? Here. Fast travel. Here's my map. If you were playing, you would have found it. I think literally... I think I am the first person in human history to have not been able to find Arthur's bed in this camp. I think that is a brand new mistake. Where am I going, by the way? Am I fast traveling? Oh, okay. I've got shit to do in town, it looks like. Uh, with either Josiah Trelawney, Josiah, sorry, or some stranger. Dutch mentioned the game might be helpful to help. Evelyn Miller with lobbying officials. Oh, right. There's a show! Mary needs to speak to me. Mary Linton? Hold on, wait, Mary? Maze method, always turn left. True, I should have done that. I just didn't even realize I could go back there. I don't know why. I want to talk to Mary. I'm going to see if Mary will have me back in her life, you know? Is there no fast travel to... Oh, wait. I forgot what it was called. St. Dennis. I think I was looking for New Orleans on the list. <laughs> this is why I got confused. Fast travel cinematic Okay. Bonjour. Um Mary, that's who I wanted to do. Or I mean who I wanted to talk to. I mean. Um Yes. 
because probably won't, it's not one of the main quest ones, so I don't think it'll be as uh, long, probably, so we might be able to do it real quick before the end of stream here. Glad I got over my grudge with Saturdays. I never had a grudge. I just, three people separately invited me to do something on a Saturday for like the first time in my life. Interesting way to handle a load screen or those real time scenes. I don't know. I guess it is a load screen. I kind of thought of it as just a way to uh, artificially Arthur! make it take longer Arthur! in order to punish you for fast traveling. <gasps> Mary. Yeah. Okay. I came. So, uh, but it is probably the loading screen makes right much there. more sense. I'm coming straight You're right. Down. I have no idea how it's handled though. I'm pretty sure it's pre-scripted shots based off of which area you're in and which area you're going to. <laughs> Arthur. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. I came. Sure. Sure. You call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Oh, Father? excuse me? I'm a oh. bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. Ugh. I know Daddy was not... Do I... Have, I saved her brother, you, and now I have to save her dad, who rejected me? man for the sin of loving his daughter. And Did Carolyn show up? Uh, then, then me? Carolyn was here today. Yes. I might be mixing it up with yesterday, have. actually. I'm pretty sure Carolyn was here today. Oh, I know. Maybe you not, actually. Live by your code, but your code is—it's well, not right. Has your way been right, Mary? My code. What is my code anyway? Crazies. An hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Damn. We're laying Be it in. Lying to me. Please. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I don't like this lady very much, actually, anymore. I am. Saturday will be our secret. Else. Yeah, don't tell Caroline. But. But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you. Arthur, mm. you know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. Sniff. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? He's so ragged with his beard. Yeah, yeah, I'll accept oh, the man. quest. I'll do it. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. Really? Most of what he says is sarcastic. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. What is this, Gandalf? Oh, this is Gandalf the Brown. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse. I've been drinking my beer juice. I have not checked Come whether on, my don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I I've not checked whether any of the things Daddy that I have let my hair grow more. I should I should well, try I that. Suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur, I should have ran away with you years ago. Oh yeah, you're just saying that because you, you want me to help you no, save your dad right now. But. But. Well, I don't know. Oh my god. She's stringing Arthur along a lot here. I don't know if I like the way she's treating him. So they picked up some hair tonic off a guy. I did pick off some hair something a couple of times, but I couldn't really find it in my item, like in my inventory. So I don't know what's up with that. How much money to book out my Saturdays for the next four weeks, even if it's vacant time? Uh, I charge $50 per day to hang out with me in real life so and not stream that's my going price oh well i mean it could be that i have it i just didn't use the right menu because you know me and menuing i'm just scared for him don't worry too much whatever it is we'll work it out we'll work it out with you and your dad 
I probably will have to shoot some people. Where are we going, by the way? Is he not in town? Oh, no, he is. He's right over here. Howdy, folks. This is the place. 12 15 hours at above minimum wage in California. Uh, no. But, you know, I'm having a good time, so I don't mind. It's certainly more than I make streaming. Oh, wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. Hmm. Can't stand there. I can't stand there. What in the street? Yes, in the street. Why? Is it your street? Just get out of here. <laughs> what do you mean I can't stand? Why? Who are you? I said, just get out of here. <laughs> he just smacked him. Listen, partner. <laughs> partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's gone inside. Look at this guy's expression. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. I apology accepted. Oh, okay. That's a different character talking. I was like, why did it get so quiet again? To kill you myself. He's realizing he's talking to a murderer. Yeah, I mean, Arthur's very good at being intimidating, to be fair. I have no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. You're as charming as ever. Excuse me, partner. I like how that's how he says goodbye to that guy. We better follow him. Okay. Way I said Gandalf the Brown remind you of that animation, the ultimate showdown. Yes, Gandalf the White and Gandalf the Brown, and this Arthur way. Morgan and the Holy Grail's Black Knight, etc. I do, I, I do think Arthur slips into sounding intimidating as like a Arthur, bit, you know, any closer like spotted. it's a bit of an act. I don't think he really wants to murder somebody just because they're telling him not to stand in the street. I think he just leans into the fact that he's kind of gruff and scary looking. Oh. Hold up. Wonder how many celebrities from that have died? Such a high opinion of himself. Um, I don't know. I'm, I don't keep track of how, when celebrities are alive or not very much, nor do I know most of them in the, in the showdown, really. Oh, hello. Come here, quick. What? Where you go. Oh, where oh, you we're go. doing the locker pin. Sorry? We're locker pinning. Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk. Oh, no. no. What's daddy doing? Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's day drunk, off to do something up to no good. I have no idea. He's heading across the road. Yeah, I see him. This is kind of fun. <laughs> He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. What? Do you think he's smelling me? Here to impress anyone. Okay. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? I know. I understand how a trailing mission works. Hey, stop a second. You're too close. Oh my god. I guess I don't understand how a trailing mission works. Whee! <clears throat> Is that a newspaper? No, I can't I can't pick it up. Oh, he's gonna stop us around this corner and be like, "You, why have you been following me?" Oh, never mind. He's got another dude over here. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, <laughs> Ashton, you got the money? He's selling something. He's selling something. You got the brooch, Mister Gillis? Yes. Yeah. A brooch. That's what this is for? Money. Oh, wait. 
Mm. He's selling off family of jewels for cash to gamble with. Uh-oh. Get that brooch back. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very Yo, Rick Trolled, how are you doing? Thank you. Nice to see you. We'll take loans from you. It's not a place to sell. It's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! Oh, Arthur. Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? <laughs> Arthur is so over this entire quest. He's like, yeah, this is not that. This is not cool. Oh, what? I'm catching up with the buyer? Hey, Jackie. Yes, thank you for reminding me to end stream. I thank you. I need to catch. I need to catch this brooch real quick. Oh, I have to do another chase sequence. No, not this again. I just chase after a kid in town. How am I supposed to do this on foot? I don't even have my horse with me. Uh, am I supposed to grab my horse here? Probably. Horsey, let's go. You just want to watch Liam? Is Liam even streaming? He might be. He wasn't yesterday. Okay. I'm gonna catch this wagon real quick. As soon as I get this brooch back and resolve this, that'll wrap it up for the day. Don't follow him so the raids are more exciting. Good, good, good. Yeah, I do think the I do think the chase sequence rubber bands a little bit. I'll notice that now that I'm on a horse, it's still not easier to catch up with him. He's not? Okay. I'll have to find someone else then. My god, his horses move so fast. I guess it's scripted so that I catch up to him at a certain point. All over now. Seriously, I mean it this time. For reals. You. Wee haw! What the hell? Okay, we did it. Drive to a secluded spot. Okay. You can't do this! Yes, I can. I can do whatever I want. That's what makes it an open world game. Ow. Ow. What's... How do I... Game wants me to drive into here? Uh, oh! Okay, I thought those horses were just gonna die. I thought the, I thought that water was gonna be really deep. <laughs> and the horses are just gonna sink instantly. Okay, we made it. I'm doing it right now? I am doing it. Okay, Mr. Buyer. Give me that brooch. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, it's just a brooch. I agree, it's just a brooch. Hand it over. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? What? I guess I could give it to no, you. No, what, dude. I'm not paying $100 when I've just hijacked your wagon. Okay, okay. No fucking way. I'm a reasonable man. Let's say... 50. Like, shouldn't you just be giving it to me for free now? Fuck that, man. I already robbed you. Enough, just, okay, I should not even be paying. $25, that's my final offer. He's bargaining? Fine, I'll do it 25 just so that I don't get the dark side points for Here. killing the dude. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy okay, whatever. son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Yeah, yeah, I, you're right. I don't know who you're messing with. I have no idea who you are. You're absolutely correct. Well, hooray. Um, I think we might wrap, do, do the final step of retrieving the brooch tomorrow because it's probably going to be a little bit of cutscene and a little bit of driving to get over there. So another five minutes and it is late. It's past my time already. So I'm going to hit you all up with a... Um, I can't manually save okay i'm gonna hit you all up with a raid now i can go to the ball true 
Sure said what he paid for it. He probably still overcharged me. He probably did overcharge me. I should have just beaten him until I got it for free. Who am I raiding? Who, who, anyone want to see anything for raid? I slap people for fun. <laughs> yeah, Arthur, Arthur does do a lot of people slapping. Um, I'm gonna drop one to Rift Tracks. How about that? Oh, Marine Mammal Rescue. Sure, we'll go. It's been a it's been a while since we raided the otters. To be fair, I think it's just highlights, but the highlights are still cute. So that's where we're heading to for the evening. Good night, everyone. Good night, Schumann. Good night, Koro. Good night, Butt. Good night, Smeebit. Good night, anyone else who might still be lurking. I appreciate you all being here tomorrow. We're going to wrap this quest up. We're going to continue our adventures in not New Orleans. Um, what else do I say? Noils, noisy, if you are still hanging around here, thank you so much for the massive amounts of bits. That was crazy, absolutely crazy. Um, and yeah, good night, Ironhawk. Good night, everybody else. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night.